<laughs> cool. So here we are. Um, the party is in a <laughs> land called Barovia, a demi plane of the Shadowfell, ruled by a vampire lord named Strad von Sarovich. The party is quite far along its adventure, having um, collected three artifacts that will help them in their battle against Strahd. Their very souls depend on defeating him, so they so they think as the realm is insular, and that all soul the souls of any who die in this realm are forever trapped here in Barovia, only to be incarnated again into the same misery. Um. So, after in the last session, the party took a little detour to a windmill. They were aware that a uh, particular old woman was selling pastries out of the windmill and had a sneaking suspicion that those pastries might not contain, you know, socially acceptable forms of meat. Um, they were correct. Exactly gluten-free. Um, though Bastards. they did not really take the chance to, you know, investigate the windmill. Instead, they burned it down. Um, they're pretty sure that they were there were people in the uh, pastries. Take so. off, nuke it from orbit. It's the only yeah. way to be sure. I just wanted yeah. to add, if we would have gone in there, it was about what four, four levels ago, five levels. Oh, ago? God, that would have been horrible. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, yeah, TP it would have been bad. Yeah, we owe, we, we, owe, we owe Panda there a a big a big uh, yes. vote of gratitude for uh, for keeping us out of that place. Yes. It is forbidden. <laughs> it is forbidden. <laughs> Done. And um, after sending the children off towards a village with a note on a horse, um, the party looked and saw at the crossroads sitting there was a riderless or um, coachmanless black carriage Driver? sitting there, its door swinging open. Invitingly. And that is where we left off last time. Oh, we leveled up. Actually, you level up. You're level you nine. Did. And Jeswaldo <laughs> got all like dark. He gave yeah. away his Ponzi hat and was like, yeah. This is for it's, children. It's <laughs> darkest <laughs> timeline, Jeswaldo. What's that? Yeah, he's Darth dark Waldo. Waldo. He what's kind the, of looks what's like, the word for like when people are like weird and like dark was, and goth and like hackery? I was gonna emo. Like, I was gonna say Jez emo. emo. Jez emo. Well, no, it's emo Waldo. Goth, goth Waldo. Goth Waldo. Goth Waldo. Goth Waldo. <laughs> I like that one. How about actually, actual, how about, how about Dread Waldo? Uh, Ooh. That's his final. Nah, one. that's too scary. Goth Waldo. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> that's too scary for Strahd. <laughs> <laughs> It's seen, it's more like Peter kill Liz off. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Dread, uh, I don't know. We'll we'll let chat come up with the you know with the uh, yeah. Chat. It. It'll get the final decision. What are you doing? Get up, chat. I would like to I would like to see chat, what chat, they chat, what chat, they think. Chat, chat, Waldo, Goth Waldo. I mean, it's chat's already got something up, and it's pretty oh ride themed. So like, hot topic, Waldo. Yes, Dread Pie Waldo. <laughs> Absolutely. Hot topic the Dread Pie Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Which one was that? Oh, hot, hot topic. <laughs> <laughs> that might not make I don't know if you got hot topics over there. And, uh, oh, I got But yeah. today's my day off. Okay. Before we go. So, what are we doing? Are we, so, are we getting in? Are we waiting for the other horse to come uh, back? Maris definitely wants to peek her head in. Well, t uh, yeah, we can take a look. It's like a real strong urge. <laughs> Cynic, Cyborg's, she's got a scratch. Cyborg's just watching Claire try to negotiate with the horse. <laughs> right. Yeah, that was... <laughs> okay. It did try to talk to one of the horses. <laughs> yeah. So, really produce results. Maris would like to go and peek her little head in. Investigate. <laughs> okay. At this point, you down. hear some thunder crackling through the valley and a soft rain begins to fall. Maris, you can make your investigation check. All right. I'm liking that ambiance already. Um, doo -ba -doo. Doo -ba -doo -ba. 
We rolled a 13. Okay. Are you getting all the way up to the carriage? Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Seems remarkably spacious inside. Okay. Um, <laughs> where you're used to just standard rows of um, chairs, you see there is um, inside the carriage is sort of a long oval semicircular ring of basically um, black leather or rich leather cushion. Um, think is there Barovian a limousine here. What's that? <laughs> is there a cooler somewhere? Maris um, is immediately looking for the champagne. She didn't yeah. roll that high on her investigation check. Oh, um, <laughs> Someone assist me! Someone assist me! <laughs> I'm not going to find anything. DM, uh, do any of the seats look more comfortable than the others? Um, sort of towards the back, um, the, the, the very back part of the carriage looks, the, the leather is particularly plush, so. Yeah, just wanted to we'll go sit there. <laughs> so just while there, you see Dux's head and dips inside the carriage. Just while though, once you're inside, you feel just quite spacious on the inside, perhaps. Um, more so than you would have thought. Maris, Maris, Maris. <laughs> this, Just uh, order, 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 order. Carriage is quite, quite, quite. Large, large, large. I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just, I ignore this bullshit and step in. You look amazing. Okay. <laughs> I'll sit, I'll sit opposite from Joe's Waldo. I'll shake my head and just right. get in. <laughs> you see, um, uh, Casimir steps inside and immediately kind of throws his hood up again and starts piecing or uh, paging through his spell book. Um, Esmeralda will also cautiously step in, look around, and sit down. Sarver so will go to make the move to go in the door, but then like the wings make it really awkward. Like, <laughs> Scrunch. Like, I'm gonna. Right. I'm, I'm, I'll sit up in the driver's seat. Okay. <clears throat> Hops up into the driver's seat. If anything okay. happens, just knock. Just, just holler. <laughs> you see, okay. Cyborg, there are no um, there are or, no reins. There is no um, whip. There is nothing that would um, um, suggest that a driver is usually part of this situation, besides the seat itself. You sit there, and the rain pours down on you, cold, wet. Take my wings and they're skeletal. It doesn't make a difference. <laughs> well, so they have to have some sort of membrane in between them, right? They no, don't. This is <laughs> strawed. <laughs> you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to remake those. Uh, remake those props. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, whatever. Um, yeah. Well, this is nice. <laughs> Maris starts to read the book everyone wants her to read. Okay. I'll have Are you keeping track? I'm. I, I. I will say just to confess, I have not been keeping track for you of how many hours you've read of it. So sorry, you're the DM. I thought that was your job. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Um, oh. <laughs> okay. You know kidding. when you get. You know when you're reading a book and you just zone out, <laughs> and you get so far in, and you just yeah. start seeing words. I've actually and finished it. Suddenly, it's like that, and Maris <laughs> is like, "I gotta start at the beginning." Abort. <laughs> Abort, 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 abort. Oh, that was, that was nice knowing you, Maris. Uh-oh. Uh, can kidding. I roll, Just like, a, 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 some saving throw? <laughs> no, no, no. No apology rule. Uh, true you, you true were story, here. though. You were here. True, true story. Do, do you <laughs> remember how much you've read? True story? I'm going to guesstimate, like, four hours. No, nah, you've done more okay. than that. You've done four for that. Six hours. Been more like... It's like you've you done did two I was thinking sessions. I, I think. That's what I remember. I did two reading sessions, and but I did with one. Both of those reading sessions, she um, like she needs at least a six hours to get the full effect of a long rest, which means she only gets two hours available to read. So but the first was... time, I risked it for the she biscuit. Did. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, I don't remember how much I risked for a said biscuit, so maybe like let's do like let's say a solid six. Well, solid is it a tasty six. biscuit? Oh, it was the taste. A risk of six for the biscuit. <laughs> yep, risk of six hours for the biscuit, DM. Put me on the board. Right. Wow. You're on for six. 
Brisket for six. <laughs> Love it. Apparently, okay. chat said so, that you've already completed the book, so you're good. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, chat. <laughs> you guys are great. Uh, if is everyone else in? Stepped in the carriage or on the carriage now? Kanta? I haven't gotten in yet. I was like, I was waiting for Kanta. I couldn't first. remember if she was a snake or not. Yeah. What are we I don't, waiting I don't know, for? Do I have to get in? Um, no, let's go. Close the door. Uh, no. Just well done. Uh, yes. You're, you're welcome okay. to sit up here with me if you don't want to get inside. I don't want to sit with Just Waldo. I don't like him anymore. Oh, we're we're all going to certain death. Or some mm -hmm. of us are just in a carriage. So, um... I, I can't, why don't you just come up here and sit by me? You can... You can uh, if you want to, you can either sit down or I, I can use a cloak over She's going to climb up and then she's going to sit in your lap and just... That's adorable. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As a flood, you're coming? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going to take off my amazing demon goat fashion cloak and put it on a and not say anything else and then awkwardly climb in the, in the, in the carriage. It's a... Um finely fashioned well actually it's not really finely fashioned it's just like sort of a, a goat fashioned. a large we'll goat skin. rough cut <laughs> so yeah you just get this uh basically a goat hide thrown over you but it has a very um lush um gray fur it's very warm it in is fact quality Excuse and disgusting <gasps> i mean there's still like some bits that you think like exactly this is yeah, maybe that's dried flesh. And is that jerky or is it? Literally um, all leather is, or is dried it flesh. So, so you're telling me or... it's a blanket that comes with its own snacks? Yeah. Yum. Yeah, that's what that's, it is. Just wanted to make sure. Glass <laughs> half cool. full mentality there. Yes. That's good. Um, My shield takes all... up an entire seat next to me. <laughs> <laughs> this carriage lurches forward and starts to. Wind its way up the road towards the castle. The horses are quiet, and you hear the rhythmic um, horseshoe falls, and you go through what seems to be a large gate that you passed before, the gates of Barovia, which opened for you before. You hear the massive iron structure swing open once again, <clears throat> and you start down a new road. In the distance, high upon the pillar of Ravenstone, lurk, or looms Castle Ravenloft, your soon destination. Is there anything? Anyone one would like to discuss on your way up to the castle? Um, just so you all know, those of you who have heard makes a difference, the interior is comfortable and warm. You will receive a short rest as you make your way up. I was just about to ask. That's nice. I have a question. How many hours can uh, Maris log towards her reading assignment? Uh, about an hour. Okay. Maris reads. So did you all spend a lot of time coming up with a, an elaborate plan on how to get in? Seems kind of moot now, doesn't it? It does. I just wanted to look inside the carriage. So... What's our sort of collective attitude here towards the idea of dinner with a vampire? I suppose it will depend entirely on what he does, huh? It's true. Um... I mean, if you see an opening, by all means. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I think we should err on the side of caution, generally speaking. 
not fuck around with our lives. So, wasn't there a final thing that we got from that woman with the cards? Yes. A location. Might be important to discuss. Let me think real hard about that for a moment. Oh. She told us of a dark figure on a balcony. That this card referenced um, an enemy beyond mortality, Strahd, um, and that this card would lead us to him, which would suggest that at some point, should her reading be correct, we are to encounter him on a balcony. Not sure that's where we'll be having dinner. I wonder if he'll even be at him now. Didn't he directly invite us? He did, that doesn't mean that he has to actually be present. Why does he want us to come? It's all part of his why game. A spider build, why does a spider build on him? Touche. Well, I would be surprised if he wasn't there. If anything, he seems like the kind of individual who is so assured of his power that he would see it as cowardice to not be there. You know, look in the eyes of your foes and all. Then probably laugh, given the attitude he's shown us before. He likes What's to the play with having... his food. What's the point of having a game if you're not going to watch it? Or play it? Yeah, He'll front row there. seats and all. Let's see. Do you think he's still angry that he doesn't get to have his lady? Yeah. He doesn't seem like the forgiving type. He has plenty of time. There. He has plenty of time to wait for another version of her. Mm. It's kind of what I was thinking also. I guess I didn't rip my head off the last time I saw him. Yeah. Maybe you would make him more interested in dying. Gets to go pursue her in the afterlife. Is he subject to the same her. rules? Who um. knows? Does he even have a soul? Does anyone? I think so, after what we've witnessed so far here. It's kind of a scary prospect when you consider where we are. Mm -hmm. Might be better off to not have one. Don't you have one, just hold up? I really don't know, Maris. But if I do and I die, then it sounds to me like I'm trapped here forever. What by that kid told us, the Burgomaster's son in Kresk. It's not a pleasant experience down there. Exactly. Which why I think maybe it's better to not have one. But then there's I'm sure another... you have a choice in that. There's another way you can look at it though. At least there's an option to come back down here as someone else. Your life in this body might have ended. Come back as a husk? Not well, like no. Well, the husks are the ones who don't have souls. souls. The ones that are, yeah. But if Irene is anything to go by, the people who come back don't necessarily remember who they were. 
they just right. live out other lives and she seemed to be particularly in tuned with her previous ones I mean, resurrection is an opportunity outside of Barovia. The ability to bring people back, I sort of look at Maris <laughs> briefly. I can do it. Um, it's not outside clerical purview. You just have to and be powerful enough and have the right resources. What about your powers now, Maris? Yeah, I could do it. You can bring people back from the dead? Mm hmm. There are certain restrictions to that, like there are with pretty much any spell, but yeah. You know, for the longest time, I thought that I would never, ever want to be resurrected. If I went, I wanted to be gone. But now, I think, yeah, I think maybe, maybe I would like to keep coming back. There's a lot. You told me the last time that you didn't want to come back specifically yeah i have that seems like a really stupid thing to say now that i think about it I wonder change why of I heart that. huh i suppose maybe a bit more reality no you seem to have a perfectly keen grasp on reality before i don't think so you hear you hear a snort from the back of the wagon <laughs> I don't think so. I think I was pretending. I think now I'm a little bit more realistic. What changed? I don't know. Experience, I guess. It's strange. It's uh... <laughs> looking back at that person. It's almost like a completely different. Is one though. Hmm. Seems like it. Well, you saved mm. me, so I know that you're good. Interesting. You know, by my recollection, it's that other just one though that might have saved me, huh? Okay, well, we don't need to get into the details of that right now. Maris puts her head back in her book. She's a so little would, hurt. So, would the new Jeswaldo make the same choice? Difficult to say there. Mm. Well, I guess you wouldn't know until the opportunity presented itself. You never know how you'll act until you get to the moment. Usually how I think of things. One moment. You okay, Akantha? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing much better up, up here now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pulls her little cloak tighter. That... A cloak? <laughs> yeah, she thinks a generous it's a cloak. adjective for it. <laughs> yeah, that, um, certainly looks warm. Are you cold? Do you want some of it? Are you cold? Do you, do you it? Are you cold? No, I'm 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 all right. I, I I'm I'm okay. Why why is just Waldo being a butt? Uh he's different. He, he's he's been acting a lot different than than when I first met him. Well, to be fair, we we only just met him. Maybe this is a, a less charming side of his personality that we haven't been subjected to yet. I don't. I don't really. I don't really like this side. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it either, to be honest. <sighs> but um, we're still here, so mm -hmm. that's pretty great. And you have really cool wings now, and you can fly. Uh, yeah, right? So, things are looking I up. Can turn into, I, I can turn into a bird and fly with you. You can? Yeah. Well, why haven't you tried that yet? Oh. I, didn't, well, I didn't think about it. Oh, fair enough. Well, I 
I, I, personally, I like your snake the most. It's a very impressive snake. I love my snake. This time, the, the snake is fun. They're a lot of fun to turn into. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's this big reptile at the, the abbey where I was where I studied. That's so cool. Oh, oh that's so though. cool. Oh, yeah, I used to yeah. find all kinds of snakes under rocks and stuff when I was at home. My grandma no. even let me keep them for a pet for like three days, and then my mom got really, really mad, and then I had to let it go. Oh. I'm sorry I had to let it go. It had one of those little rattles on its tail, and they said I couldn't have it. Oh, yeah. No, you don't want those. That's That shouldn't be in the house. That's not a thing that you pet as a pet. But um, he was really nice. No, I'm he sure he was. his name was Fred. Fred. He told you that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So maybe that snake is a lot like uh, just Waldo, you know? Like a really nice pet to have for a few days, and but also shouldn't be kept in the house where people can touch him. Ooh, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, he kind of reminds me of uh, Fred. Fred was a little bit nicer, but he had a grumpy side too. Yeah. Maybe we'll just put Fred back outside and see if he fares a little better. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Well, I'll, yeah. I'll just think of him as Fred. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, briefly in the carriage, um, I speaking from a tactical perspective, I believe someone mentioned um, that. Uh, Esmeralda, you were thinking about going off and um, scouting a little bit in the castle. Um, given the change to our entrance plans here, are you still going to move forward with that, or are you going to stick with the group? Well, <clears throat> I think that, as you have all said, the real trick to this might be not so much the getting in as getting out and perhaps if there was someone on the outside keeping watch watching if things change out here or if certain avenues are set up for ambush or um, locked entirely I could be of use helping the egress I also think that one more person inside will make the party all the more easy to track down we are a little unwieldy as a collective. I am also quite responsible for some of, well, for acting directly against Strahd in many ways. Also being the, well, being trained by von Richten himself and carrying on his mission here. Is Strahd personally aware of you? Or could he not be? I mean more in the more in the sense of you being in direct opposition to him. We've made that loud and clear to him. I'm sure von Richten has also. I'm curious about I, where you stand on I this I operate list. under the assumption that yes, he does, because anything else would be an act of foolishness. That's fair. I do not underestimate him, not for a moment. Be unwise. Um, then whatever avenue you think is best, just be careful. I will not be far. If you find yourselves trapped, or I will try to help, I promise. Um, Victor? Keep a low profile? <laughs> Victor isn't with you. It's I thought he was. Casimir, right? I thought Victor was with us too. Where did he? We, where, where did we leave him then? I thought we brought everybody. Victor's yeah. long gone. Yeah, it was. Um, we've got Casimir. We've got Esmeralda, and we've got um, Loverboy. That it. That is. Victor. That is Victor. Maris sputters. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys? I didn't realize if you did bring. I thought you just brought Casimir and Esmeralda. Oh, I but... thought you said that um, Esmeralda and Victor were going to scout. Oh, if I remember rightly. Victor was definitely involved. Okay. Oh, All right. Involved. In that case, they will. Um, Casimir will offer to go in with you, though. 
he has things need yes. doing. So he's got to find his sister. Now the carriage is beginning to near the castle now. Before it arrives, if there's anything else anyone would like to say, now is the time. I wonder if we're able to get off of this thing. Kind of stupid, don't you think? Before the front doors. Oh, you mean to jump out now? I think the jig is up. Who would like Maybe. to hear a joke? Is it going to be funny? I think Maris so. immediately says yes because she's trying to smooth her hurt feelings. She's like, yeah, just Waldo, tell, tell us a joke. She closes her book. Eleven idiots got in a carriage and went to a vampire's castle. Mm, this is and I'd great. like to use... That's the end of the joke. I would like to use panache to charm everybody in the carriage. <laughs> what is the what before is the, we roll uh, saving through there? Before we roll, a massive thank you for the raid, guys. Welcome. Mm. Whoa! Oh, wow. oh, cool. Raid. Thank you very Raiding much. Raiding the raiders. These, these guys are about to head into Strad's castle, but we have yeah. our. Um, we have our swashbuckler something. Something's going on here using an ability try, on the rest of the party. I'm, I'm going to try and... Here we go. Post it here. Okay. So it is a contested mm. role. I'm going to use my inspiration. So what do we roll? Oh, you have to, I see, you I see. You have to roll insight versus my persuasion. My, uh, yeah. Uh, and I have an advantage against the charm. Yes, and also you also have um, the bonus from um, a paladin. The, you know, thing. It's not a save. Oh, that's Is true. It? It's not. You're right. So no, no bonuses. Sorry about that. Um, but Maris and I have advantage against it. Yeah, we do. This year is 25. Oh. Um, this is not 26. a magical... 26. This is not magical, by the way, for her. So, this yeah. is a class ability. No. I roll uh, a 26. Okay. Does that mean that I don't have Claire. advantage? If it's class and not magical? That is correct. Oh, wait. I don't... I wish I hadn't asked that question. <laughs> What? Damn it. What's it, what's it I never get to use that phrase. He's just charming us. God, are you serious? I have a plus eight. I got an eleven. It's fine. We always do this. We always. Wow, do this. y'all's <laughs> rolls suck. We always <laughs> okay, Claire. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You come in here with your hot yeah. dice, acting like that. <laughs> you better I than hate us. This. She may I not be perceptive, but she certainly can't be persuaded. <laughs> so, yeah. that so, is so true. I hate this so much. Those of you rolling these saves, um, is a uh, Maris. It's not a not rolls. a wisdom save. It is there. an insight. You have to roll yeah. an oh. insight check. Oh, That's well. Not a save. So you can take your whatever you rolled and then add your oh, insight check. I rolled a save instead yeah, of a she thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Wait, I so made that can we just like scrap well. it? Nope. <laughs> Negativo. Oh no, that I would have. It not was still eleven. High, so did not make the same. Didn't make it a check. difference. It makes no difference to mine. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so did everybody still... fail? Unless they does anyone failed. have plus five to insight? I or have. Higher? I have plus no. eight. Okay. So you failed though on your roll. So if you don't have that, there's no way you can succeed on the check. Yeah. Um, I don't like this. And you think. Um, especially for the next minute or so, just Waldo is remarkably charming. Um, there's something about him that, oh, there's the, there's the companion I thought I knew. Man, he, I, I get him and, you know, he's a little dark, but he's, he's all right. He's, he's great. I'd, I'd do anything for that guy. 
is what you feel about just Waldo at the moment. It says friendly acquaintance, not like <laughs> I will jump in front of a speeding oh, car no, no, for no, 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 no. him. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying. DM, so, is it class as an attack? No. It is not. Okay. So, I finished that first part of the joke, and then I just start laughing <laughs> and looking <laughs> around again. And <laughs> the second part of the joke is that one idiot convinced him all to jump out of the carriage and <gasps> went to the castle by himself. <laughs> oh my Isn't god. that funny? <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> I hate you so much. So we all days. laugh and jump out of the carriage, right? No, it's it's not a no. compulsion. <laughs> oh, no. I was like, we drank the no. Kool Aid, guys. But they were. Like, you're the, drinking the funny Kool-Aid. thing was almost as you mentioned it. Almost, it's almost a that was almost a player player troll right there because almost everyone was like, should we jump out of the carriage? <laughs> <laughs> I was curious. <laughs> no. That is you all that were. happens. I just take, make a really horrible, scary joke, and everyone laughs. Because it's funny. The it's the first time you've probably seen Elimus laugh. And the only time. Oh. Certainly sounds like they're feeling better inside the carriage. And the minute ends, and just. Do we remember what happened Troll in the last minute? Yes. There's nothing to suggest in the text that it affects our memory. No, it, it totally. Yeah. Maris just levels. <laughs> her eyes with just Waldo and just sips. Very impressively <laughs> out of her wine. One one of the lights in just Waldo's eyes just goes ding, ding, like a wink. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How very dare you? Hmm. How very dare you? <laughs> Maybe, Jeswaldo, when we are going into a situation where we will want to be availed of our full faculties and our full trust in one another as companions, maybe don't fuck around with the people that you're traveling with. Yeah, that's a novel concept. Beautiful weather in Barovia this time of year. It's We're not seemingly. charmed anymore. And as this... As he says that, Cyvor and Akanta outside, you can see you have now come around the corner of a um, sort of a small stone um, the, where the road has been cut into the stone leading you up. You've just come around the corner, and now just a few hundred feet in front of you is the causeway leading to Castle Ravenloft. Cyvor, like, Bumps on the back. We're approaching the causeway. I I wrap on the back of the thing, just in sort of. Yep, we heard you. And the carriage it's... comes to a dead stop. What's that? I was just gonna ask that. if there's like a window that Maris can stick her head out of, so she can. Like a dog. You, yeah, you're looking just around, like a dog. The carriage stops, <laughs> and the door. It'll ruin the moment. Swings open. <laughs> In front of you stand twin turrets of stone, broken slightly from years of exposure. Beyond these guard towers is the precipice of a 50-foot-wide, fog-filled chasm that disappears into unknown depths. A lowered drawbridge of old, shored-up wooden beams stretches across the chasm. Between you and the archway to the courtyard. The drawbridge is the only land you see. They're rust. Uh, the chains of the drawbridge creak in the wind. They're rusty and iron straining under the weight. From atop the high walls, stone gargoyles stare at you out of their hollow eye sockets and grin hideously. A rotting wooden portcullis, green with growth, hangs above the entry tunnel. Beyond this location, the main doors of Ravenloft stand open. A rich, warm light spills from within, filling the courtyard. Torches flutter sadly in lonely sconces on both sides of the open door. As we're getting out, I say to Jeswalda, that was very funny and a powerful thing you have there. Remember, and he's he's smiling as a friendly action to try not to charm the charmer. And that's a DC 17 will save. 
These are rough for I've me. I've walked away, so no bonus save for you. This is purely, this is purely There's just a fun no thing. No way. Oh, 20, 20, 20 says, says, oh my god. Holy crap. <laughs> oh. I don't believe it. Oh. Uh, it just gives you a little wink and a smile. I a friendly smack. <laughs> and I say, Blink. I think I might be able to do some other things with it. Just keep it in mind if you have anything that can allow for extra movements or actions. I certainly will. <laughs> Damn, I was hoping to leave Jeswaldo there babbling for six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that have so been are delicious? We, are we... You'll have many more opportunities. I have a plus one to wisdom saves, so that is <laughs> really a really unusual role. So are we, are we going to the uh, castle? Yes, onward ho, I suppose. I'll start striding forward. Aethelflip, hey, right. do you want do you want your pretty do you want your pretty cloak back? Oh uh, yeah, you can wear it until we're out of the rain. <laughs> wear oh, it. thank you. It's wearing Ain't everyone. Her. It's that it's big. beautiful. <laughs> it's like um, are you all? Starting through the portcullis, then to walk across into the main courtyard. Yeah, yeah. yeah once Claire starts to walk the uh, cyborgs close, by. we're gonna we're gonna totally just action movie walk across, <laughs> walk straight in <laughs> the rain. Yes. Our cloaks in the wind. <laughs> right. yeah. Cyborgs so wings. We can't the possibly go in any other way. <laughs> yes. I the like hair. it. It's the group shot. <laughs> yeah. Just it is it's the Avengers group shot. Yeah. Just Waldo's yeah. eyes glowing yellow. Behind us, the carriage explodes. A strike of lightning and a fleeing flock of ravens punctuates just how cool you are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course it does. Naturally, it would. Yeah. For some reason, the ravens start to fly in slow motion. In front of <laughs> yeah. Maris is like, Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's like something out of Lonely Island. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as we're walking along, Alimus will cast a spell and speak the words, make us Princess Aramis, and cast Mage Armor on himself. It's oh, a good choice. The wood sort of creaks a bit under you guys. It feels mostly sturdy as you cross um, these are thick planks. Um, I need everyone to roll a d100 as you cross to oh, the main. Interesting. Oh no, oh no! There you go. D100, oh my yeah. god. Yeah. I, I was like. D7. Did it work? <laughs> while, we're, right. while we're doing that, oh. everyone roll a, a, a d20 as well. Ooh. Oh boy, Pixie. Oh, I know that. Three. Thank like you it. very much, Pixie. This is a D6. Oh a D6 three? inspiration has to be used today, guys, in today's session. Oh! Oh! Cyber. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Wait, I haven't rolled yet. She doesn't deserve it. <laughs> you be silent over there. Yeah. Stick out of ass, Jeswaldo. Moody I Waldo. died! <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Pixie. Meris wins the D6 Inspiration, so thank you very much. Thank you, Pixie. Golf clap. The greatest. Well, that was very distracting. I think some of us should be able to re-roll our 100s. Ah, uh, you know. I do, maybe, and that's what I say. Want to, that's, I know. want to roll low. Maybe that's, you know. Roll low. <laughs> Wait, did a combo roll, roll both a 19? Meris. And that's what you take a step and you f hear a loud cracking noise under your foot. Ah! <gasps> I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw as oh, the wood God. underneath you gives way. Oh, I thought Add you were going to say, four. just roll it, you take 57 damage. Lyman, you, you take 35 damage. <laughs> okay, right? Oh, no. oh you're fine. Please. You well, step to four. the side. Plus four, so 19. 19. You seem to uh, dodge out of the way, though you can't help but look down and see about a thousand foot fall that would have taken you had you 
not jumped out of the way at just the You'd right time. You'd have been a pancake. Aw, oh, you think you're funny, DM. <laughs> Try to kill me again. <laughs> she looks at the group and goes, I almost died. <laughs> Guys, I almost managed, died. <laughs> you managed to roll the 5%. <laughs> <laughs> remember... <laughs> Remember when I said would? Remember when I asked if anybody had feather fall? <laughs> yeah, I do remember. <clears throat> well, I actually memorized it, so good, good. Oh, good call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After you said that, and I was like, maybe I should memorize it. So yeah. I mean, I've got wings, so I can turn into a bird. That is true. Can well, you fly fine. Yeah, you're, well, you're if I right. fall, I will plummet like a fucking stone. So oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll catch Let's... you Matrix style. <laughs> <laughs> Can. So are you guys continuing down the drawbridge, or are you yeah. standing just, out, just let, hanging out on the wall? Down the drive. Let, let the DM, let out, the DM dude, set okay? the scene, yo. Yeah, okay, I almost scene. died, Party. and now what is the scene? I'm fine. Diver walks a little closer to Maris. Just, <laughs> yeah. So there is, unsurprisingly, a thick, very cold fog swirling around this courtyard. There are sporadic flashes of lightning lancing the weeping clouds overhead as thunder shakes the ground. Through the drizzle, you see torch flames sputtering on each side of the keep's open main doors. The same warm light is still spilling outside of these doors, filling the courtyard. High above the entrance is a round window with shards of broken glass lodged in its iron frame. And give you a sort of an idea of what we're looking at. And place yourselves between the Oh god, the it's blurry. Here. Okay. <laughs> it's a big ass map. It'll load eventually. At its own goddamn pace. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> oh my god, Maris is so small. Oh, okay. She got fixed. Now, it's a little hard to see, but um, the balcony you can see up here and these roof-like structures are about 90 feet high. That's how high the crenellations are. Um, I'm going to reveal this sort of um, dotted layer of things here, um, which is the um, shape of what is basically underneath. So... If you can okay. see this, this Got is the it. bottom okay. layer, and re recessed here are where the um, front doors are open, spilling the light out. Does that make so sense? A, so there's a, yeah, there's like an alcove in which the doorway is set into the building. Okay. Yep. I buy that. Okay. There we go. So can you see that now? Yeah. There. There's a doorway here. Dead Waldo, get okay. on the map. You're okay. muted. Uh, do we get our, um, yep. our, uh, what do they call NPCs. Yep. Oops. Uh, pulling them on now. Oh my God, he's large. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I'll just there put myself on mute there. So is she. <laughs> Everyone's so tall. I'm so I make all of my D&D characters taller than me because I don't like being short. <laughs> because it is a fantasy game. Sweet. It is. <laughs> I, live out, I live out my heightest fantasy. You live out your tall fantasies. <laughs> yeah. I was told I, as a child that I would be 5'11". That was a fucking lie. What a lie. <laughs> I, I make all that of my characters slimmer than me. So. <laughs> but I always wanted to be tinier than that. So. Do you want to trade? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Freaky Friday. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Strahd. 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 <laughs> What's happening anyway. now? Well, I presume this is the point at which we bid farewell to Esmeralda and Victor. Or. I mean, no. do, we, do we have to? Should. I mean, do we just knock? Is it a. like a buffet? Or how do we. I. <laughs> She is, um, no, yeah. Victor and Esmeralda are going to go to, uh, um, up and he will cast fly on her and they're going to start going along the parapets. 
I was it's not like if we need them, we can't come back out and get them. Yeah. Do we want to do uh, uh, some reconnaissance, or should we just go in, or? Oh, we're dinner guests. Yeah. Um, Let's just <clears throat> head on up, I guess. Before we head up, Maris would like to cast Bless on her party. Are you using the... It, bless is... Doesn't last. Awesome. Is it a minute or a yeah. or an hour? Mm, no, never Might mind. Be it's a, a minute. concentration of only a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to do it yet. So it's useless. Just know that I'm like really pulling for us, guys. Aid yes. is a good one to look at eventually. Yes, if you, you. Yeah. Well, that lasts for the day. So just, if you're looking for I, I, uh, buffs. I uh, reach behind me, give Maris's hand a little squeeze, and then stride forward confidently towards the door. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Wee! The ornate outer doors of the castle hang open, flanked by fluttering torches. 20 feet inside the castle is a second set of doors. And I will move us to Layer. I like this background music, by the way. Mm-hmm. Like the string action. It's very Lord of the Rings. I heard some Russian oh. singing a minute ago. Trying to uh, shore up my previous musical deficiencies, so. <laughs> <laughs> shore up? No. <Yeah. laughs> composer? Yeah. Yes. Howard Shore. Yeah. Music. I, I have the book about the composition. It's of Lord of the Rings. Well, I'm, I'm a nerd. Well, it's um, so good. Yeah, I got. I'm really into film music. We got to play some of our characters again. Yep. Yeah. So I guess we'll go be in the the foyer. Mm-hmm. Do you enter here? Um, overhead you see here there are four statues of dragons glaring down at you their eyes are flickering in the torchlight in the foyer or past it in the foyer here okay high above on uh, perched on sort of alcoves about uh 15 feet up on either side. And as you approach here, you get to the second set of iron doors and they swing open. Unbidden, but still do so. Revealing the inside here. DM, how large are the doors? Or tall, I should say. Um. They are about 15 feet. They are okay. stately, very large iron doors. It's much taller than Claire. <laughs> it's like way taller. Here, right. you see we, there we are cobwebs. We stand top of each other in a really, really tall trench coat. Mm. <laughs> there are cobwebs stretching between the tall columns in this room. There is a, this is, there's a vaulted ceiling here. It's a dusty, hall, dimly lit by, again, sputtering torches in iron sconces. The torches cast sort of odd shadows across the faces of 12 stone gargoyles squatting motionless on the rim of the domed ceiling. Cracked and faded ceiling frescoes are covered by decay. Double doors of bronze stand closed to the east. Or, that's the ones you came through, never mind. Or, to the east, yeah, here, never mind. Uh, to the north, a wide staircase climbs into darkness, and the lit hallway to the south contains another set of iron doors, or bronze doors, through which you hear a slight sound of sad and majestic organ tones. Claire. That was, that was to the front of us, but or to the south, did you say? South that so. the organ tones are coming from. What's up, Alimus? 
I require 10 coins from the party funds if you have it. Have it. Okay, I'll take 10 gold coins, put them in my pouch. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, straight ahead or to the south where the music well, is? Both the Kantha and Cyborg fly in and land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you, as soon as you ask this, you hear soft footfalls coming from above to the north. And rounding the stairs, descending down slightly, this bitch. you see a familiar face. An elf with brown skin and long black hair descends the staircase, barely making any sound as his foot, as his feet fall on the dusty steps. He wears a gray cloak over black studded leather armor and has a polished scimitar hanging at his belt. My master is expecting you. And he strides forward towards the middle of the group. This way, if you please. Lead on. And passes. Maris whispers under her breath, what if we don't please? To Claire. Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> Walk this way. <laughs> you can see as you enter here um, another vaulted hallway. Uh, there's a stairway that both ascends and descends um, in a circular fashion. There is a suit of armor here in an alcove oiled and glistening and swells of organ music now well up from behind this door How ominous. the door or er, Rahadan pushes and the two doors swing open revealing enormous crystal chandeliers brilliantly illuminating this magnificent chamber Pillars of stone stand against dull white marble walls supporting the ceiling. In the center of the room, a long, heavy table is covered with fine white satin cloth. The table is laden with many delectable foods. Roasted beast basted in savory sauce, roots and herbs of every taste and sweet fruits and vegetables. Places are set for everyone in the party. With fine, delicate china and silver. At each place is a crystal goblet filled with amber liquid. At the center of the far west wall between floor to ceiling mirrors stands a massive organ. Its pipes blare out a thunderous melody that speaks in its tone of greatness and despair. Seated at the organ facing away from you, a single caped figure pounds the keys in raptured ecstasy. The figure suddenly stops as a deep silence falls over the dining hall it turns slowly towards you please everything has been made ready be my guest as he gestures for you to enter Where's my sister? Oh, starting out strong. I'm sure she will be along shortly, Alimus. Do you have a preference for where we sit? Whatever it suits you, Claire. And he slides into the chair at the head of the table. Then I will sit opposite. Jeswaldo will pull out the chair for Claire. Thank you, Jeswaldo. Maris sits next to Claire. Waldo sits here, I think. You hear oh. the doors quietly shut behind you. 
Oh, looks like a Kanta will be able to sit right next to you. I, I see that's how it would let, end up, and I move over a seat. Here, Akantha, sit here. Boop. Looks like I'm on the table, but I'm really in the chair, promise. Yeah, 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 right? We're all on the table. <laughs> that kind of night. It's that kind of party, am I right, guys? <laughs> you have tarried some, but I am so glad that you have come here. Please, eat, drink, have your fill. Um, I was, who, who is that? And I'll kind of keep my voice lowered, but... <laughs> Who is that? You bring such innocence to this place. I don't... I don't know who Akanta, you are. What's your name? I am Strad von Sarovich. You are in my home. Oh, well, you have a pretty house. Thank you for the table. It's pretty. He nods courteously and leans back in his chair, holding a goblet. Elimus hasn't got the heart to tell her. <laughs> that we're all gonna die? <laughs> he just shakes his head. Do you like to be friends, Akanta? Oh, no. Yes, I want to be friends! He, he seems really nice. Maris yes, he does kind of seem like really nice. Nudges Akanta? Akanta. Akanta? Mm -hmm. Do you remember Fred? Mm -hmm. This is a Fred. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Gesualdo eats. Gesualdo, the food is worthy of any banquet you have sat upon and, or sat in. in. Um, it is delicious. The wine is superb. Sivor is watching just while they'll eat like a uh, hawk, just like why didn't we come here first it would have saved so much time right maris pushes her plate away we were too busy we freeing errands. souls and stuff where are we i'll take a sip of alcohol it is oh, delicious God. wine maris looks at claire i give her a little like Maris takes a sip from her own glass. <laughs> am, I, am I supposed to eat I, the food? I suppose I have a question for you, Mr. Von Zarovich. Why did you invite us to dinner? <laughs> Would you be satisfied with the answer? To see if you'd come. <laughs> I'm just... I am merely joking. It is funny. Ah, it is... Well... It is a lord's... Uh, responsibility... To make sure that... His... Well, visitors are cared for. Visitors would imply that we can come and go. This land, maybe. Hmm. And if I recall correctly, the last time that we encountered you as a group, you were perhaps not as keen on our well-being. Well, have you tried leaving? Have you tried walking through the mists? I believe that when we first arrived here, we found it nigh impossible to go anywhere but forward. Hmm. The mistress lead back to here. I'm sure your sister would have said differently, Elimus. She's been here. She left and returned. Did she not tell you this? Hmm. No. Strange. No. But my sister does have many secrets. Hmm. More than you know, Elimus. And he smiles broadly and takes and seems to sniff from his glass. You know, there is a very good chance that the reason why you're drinking that wine is because of some things that we happen to do. 
problems we took care of in your land. Hmm. I feel like we deserve some recompense for that. Recompense. I'm yeah. sure there is something here that you want. You're welcome to try and find it. I kind of think we already have. <laughs> I throw a dagger at him. <laughs> it sticks into the back of the chair and <laughs> the image vanishes. Suddenly, every torch extinguishes in the room and you are left in utter darkness. You hear a oh, sound of a it. drawbridge. Sorry, a <laughs> sound of a drawbridge lifting and <laughs> crashing in an upright position. What just what? happened? The fuck, Jeswaldo? I immediately make a movement. Uh, I make a move for the door to see if they're still closed. Well, I... The door here? Yeah. Um, I had a feeling that I was right. I mean, let's you... be honest, we, we weren't here to eat. No, and but he there might have been here an at opportunity all. to get more information out of him. Uh, Cyborg, yeah. you look out and you see a pitch black. Do you have dark vision? I do not, but I do have my moon uh, blade. Okay, then you can see partially into the um, main hall here. Okay, so but but so the but these doors are open, DM. They like, are. Open. You rush forward and throw them open, and you see the glimmering armor here, stairway here, and the light only begins to illuminate this large entry chamber through which you uh, passed before. It's all darkness. Everyone, stay together. DM, can I go to the uh, torches that went out and relight one of them? Certainly. Do you have the equipment to do so? Tinderbox? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's exactly what that is. So um, <laughs> I'll take the, Circle gets the square. torch and Tinderbox. Um, I'll go retrieve my dagger from the chair. And I'd like to start looking around this room. I will place my hand on the crystal okay. on the on my staff and speak the words uh, Damihi Lux. And it will burst into light. I All right. um get up and have my shield ready and um, draw my old sword. Should, should we should we tell Mr. Strahd person that Jeswaldo didn't really mean it? I don't think that matters much now, Akampa, but points for the thought. Oh, I think it was perfectly obvious that he very well meant it. Well, wouldn't it have been amazing if they had actually done it? I mean, I knew there was no chance, but it would have if been amazing. If you knew amazing. there was no chance, then what was the point? Well, that was that was kind of rude, because he, he invited think... us to dinner, and then he threw a shark. I was done it. eating. I'm pretty sure the dagger was the point. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> did the, did Strahd serve bones to Cyborg? He did not. In I fact, most of the meat has been cut for you. Um, there's not a convenient place for a uh, you know a bone, or there's not like a bone in chop or anything on any of the plates. If Cyborg wanted a bone, he would have to really get into one of the main roasts and extract one. Um, it's almost, the, the serving was perfect. It was um, uh, delicate and of very uh, high cuisine. Almost as if it would put him through extra embarrassment to try to get through to find a bone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unbeknownst or maybe known to the party, uh, during his long rest, Cyborg takes time to grind up the bones that he has collected from the Amber Temple and tends not to eat surprised. them rather secretively. He's not really oh. proud of the fact that he... So, I, what was in this room? Uh, oh, go ahead, sorry. man. No, I just, I have a question. So if I were to want to start casting a spell that takes like 10 minutes to have on reserve is that something i can do because i know that a limus can but i don't know if that's something i can do yeah if well, you just start casting at any time you can't okay. make another like action during that time but you can start yeah 
Okay. What spell? Uh, I, <laughs> I'm a little worried about us, so I was gonna cast prayer of healing. Mm. We're already at right, testing the voice changer now. I know, but how long will that last? I don't. Think this prayer. How long does prayer of healing will last? Well, it is an instantaneous duration, but it takes ten minutes for me to cast it. We don't need right. healing. So we've had a short. Yeah, it rest. takes ten minutes to cast, and then it yeah. instantaneously happens and heals everybody. So we have the prayer of healing. The way that works is if people are hurt, you take yeah. ten, we take ten minute break while you do this uh, spell and it heals us. I well, what, but is we've there, had a short break, a though, so which... people should be fully healed. Yeah. Well, it's just like it was supposed to yeah. be preemptive because right. I feel like we're gonna get our asses kicked. So. Is there? A, oh, we'll get our asses kicked around every corner. Yeah, there hold on to that spell. Put the prayer of healing into the ring, and then when if a Limus were to cast it, it would go off instantly, or is it still the ten minute cast time? Um, it so th the ring of spell storing similar to scrolls i believe takes the regular casting time okay of okay, so whatever so. spell is put in there okay so. well good to I, know thanks yeah make a uh, a perception or an yes. investigation check please on please the i was table, yeah. on the walls on the organ i want to check out this organ perceive the organ uh um, oh well, it's a little hard not to <laughs> which 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 uh, is it uh, investigation or um um, whatever you would like to do, uh, they they're, may they're the um, same. give you slightly different uh, um, results, but probably leading you in the same direction. So yeah, I'll do investigation. It is oh, no different like from that. perception. You know, you know, I've been using a voice changer for how long? We've been using voice changers, Peter. Uh, a month, a or few two. weeks. Yeah, you know? at least the last month or so. No, yeah. no one in streams ever heard it. <laughs> really. <laughs> What? Well, so you, what? You guys it in? Go, did it not here. broadcast on the I, stream too? I said it in Zoom. I didn't set it in OBS. <gasps> so for the last Amazing. God knows how long we've oh, been using no. voice changes. Jade's just been, been going. Old... So all Lux and everyone's been oh. going. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, ooh, what we do? <laughs> So, and it's only because I said it because they didn't hear it yeah. No, no, they can hear Peter. They can hear Peter's because Peter's comes through my sound. But my okay. microphone goes through OBS. So basically, you just like you just normal voiced orked yourself right there. Like, yeah. <laughs> Man flash. Get a fire going. What, <laughs> what is it? What do you smell? Well, Z's been, Z's been asking me about you know the, the, the words that I use, and I said, oh no, it's Latin. <laughs> so I thought people might have liked it. Well, never mind. Well, you'll hear it soon, no doubt. Gotcha. <laughs> So yeah, I, rolled it's, a, it's really I rolled a 15. Cool. Fuck it. Cool. Does Waldo want a, like assistance with that roll? What's he uh, looking for? Investigate. Yeah, I'm, I'm just investigating. Yeah, I'm investigating the organ. Yeah, I will help you with my proficiency in investigation. Very well. I'll roll again. 15 is pretty good, though. It's about as good as it's I'm going to get. Oh, the then there's 16. <laughs> There you go. Uh, looking different. around, um, these are one thing you notice for sure is the furniture is remarkably well constructed. Uh, a full pipe organ like this is something unusual to you. You wouldn't necessarily know uh, where to look, but looking around in it, sort of um, looking at the ground, the wall next to it, everything, the mirrors that are next to it, nothing seems out of place to you. DM Cyborg's keeping an eyeball on the uh, hallways, and he's uh, particularly yeah. listening to see if anyone's coming or appro is approaching the rooms. I was actually planning to take a step out into the hall and just kind of hang there. Okay. Anyone else? I. Um. <laughs> Cyborg, you have your. You're lighting up that area, right? Yeah, so I've got. It's a 15 foot uh, bright and then 15 foot dim out from me, so. Well, I, will. I have dark vision also. I will so search like, in I'll here for secret there doors. With my dark vision as well. Yeah. Oh, what was that? I will search in here for secret doors. I could use the um, I can use the wand. Uh, let me search first. Yeah, I'll use one. <laughs> okay, I'll use the uh, the wand. Secrets. <laughs> plus sort of nine. Go and go to go to over to the organ and dee 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 with the with the wand oh and then just uh, you look you point and the way the wand works it goes whoop and points directly at the organ. 
Oh, shit. Hot shit. By the way, Peter, my dark vision is 120 feet, so whatever's out here should be visible. Okay. So uh, is that, I know we've as you look, been here, but like, it so. looks, uh, for you, it looks the same. So, okay, so the Wand of Secrets does traps or spells. There's no way to know what it is. This points to the nearest trap or spell, I believe, or, or a <laughs> hidden door is the way that it works. Is that, yeah. isn't I that right? It is right, yep. That's lovely. I love that item. Uh, it's a really <laughs> horrible item. Let me um, check. Find anything walking. back there, just Walter? Um, and I'm like, I've got the, the, uh, the wand going, pointing at the, um, organ. Uh, the wand seems to think there is something secret here, but just what? I don't know. Oh, it's, uh, do you want to help Remarkably me? unhelpful. Um, I will, hmm. I, I will come back into the room then. Tell her me surprised. Um, I could hear Elimus asking. I will use, uh, I will look and check the organ over for traps or the secret door. Okay. 19. I'm looking at it. It just, you don't understand. There's, it's a huge, solid piece. Yeah, How I, it would move seems, you're, it's hard to comprehend. Yeah, I was trying to click investigation. Totally failed. Oh, uh, you, no, mm -hmm. you, you basically helped me. So give me advantage. Yeah. So I get to roll oh, twice, but. Is, it, is, anyway. is there any are there is there any sheet music on the um the organ? It seems like Strahd was just rocking an improv. <laughs> no, um, he's got no like the benches. art of fugue. What key was he playing in? <laughs> no, no bench. No uh, music in the bench. No, uh, no. It's just the keys, the pedals, and the stops. What stops were pulled? Um, he's got a lot of like low read going on. Um, oh yeah, you know like Does he got the buzzy the... yeah That's stuff. Hot. Does he have the flutes pulled for like the top? Um, not Nerds. so much of the high flutes. It's uh like and the uh, but heavy brass and low reed is kind of what he's That's going his jam. for. So okay. these are all like levers and buttons, right? Yeah, I start I start anywhere. pushing them. Maris just wants to, to sit see. down on the bench. All right. Are there any levers or buttons that don't, like, indicate music or anything of the sort? Are you proficient in <laughs> any sort of musical instrument? Do you want me to bullshit you and say that the Hexbane Abbey had an organ in it that we had to have service in it every Sunday? That's not what I asked you. Oh. Oh. As soon as I see Jezwaldo pressing buttons, I'm used to him doing yeah. that. Yeah. I start stepping and you out hear of the room. <laughs> <laughs> You hear these loud tones oh, coming as just Waldo so seems to uh, uh me. as you go around. Oh my god! Oh my him out of the way. You um, can you not? Can you not? I um I I'm getting really fucking tired of this. I'm basically I I just take a quick gander up and then down to see what's at the like what's at the next floor on each level. Okay. Like if I just you, run up the stairs. Yeah. Um, you look around, you even if you go around um, up about 10 feet, you still can't see where the landing is. It keeps it winding. Away. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. Um, go ahead. Um, would it be possible for Maris to sit at the organ and also try to like figure it out but because like what I would like to know is if Maris has any sort of like proficiency with a Do musical you? instrument. I don't like is would that be on my stat sheet or no? It would be in there your background. Or... What, you you want to yeah. just sort of just give it a try and see if you're like a savant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Maris has parts of her past she doesn't remember maybe she's really good at the organ. <laughs> they Make put her down in front check? of the keyboard and suddenly she remembers all of her spells. It's amazing. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Oh, yikes! Sorry. All right. Wow. Sorry. Um, so, so um, there's something oh, I secret. I feel like Although very attacked keys. right now. <laughs> no. Um, no. And Maris, as you go up to the uh, organ um, to you know start to try it out, you ask Jeswaldo, um, 
can I try it? And just Waldo kind of looks, and I'm assuming with attitude, just presses one more button. <laughs> and, yeah. um, and as he does, you hear this rattling, grinding sound, and <laughs> the organ starts to pull away from the wall. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. I look to Claire. This, Ooh, I'm assuming yeah. this is where they die. I, I hope not, but it wouldn't surprise me. And I, Behind and I come forward. the organ appears to be a secret door. <laughs> Final treasure. Leading room. into what seems to be a old archer's post. Except this room is filled with shattered mirrors. They're all of different sizes, some taller than a human, some small enough to fit in a small backpack. That's We've had some bad luck with mirrors. Not so much bad luck as lack of prudence. I take a peek into the room to see what's going on down this way. Okay. It continues. He seems Stay to within. split into a turret here and then disappear this way. Uh, just want to be careful to always stay within, what is the range of the aura? 10 feet? 10 feet. Yeah, within 10 feet of Claire. I recommend everyone generally stay ten, within 10 feet of me. Just kind of as a I climb inside Claire's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> if I could carry you, I would. And I'm like, oh, I'm at like 50. So what Paris is in- is always right behind her. What is in this room other than the mirrors? Are they, do they look like they were, where, so it's broken glass. Were they in fact mirrors? They are, and not all of them are broken. Some of them are mostly intact, some slightly cracked. Um, but it seems just filled with mirrors. Enjoy your new look, Jess Waldo. Does it really matter? Um, the, um... So, I'm sorry, go ahead, Simon. DM, are any of them small enough that we could put, like, one of them into our packs or anything like that? Yeah. Okay. Some of them are small. Like Cyber will look for a one that is somewhat intact and then put it into his pack. A hand mirror. And you put it in your pack. Seems like somebody doesn't like mirrors. Wouldn't be a bad idea to hold on to one. There is some sort of trope about vampires and mirrors, isn't there? Just out of curiosity, um, does Jezwaldo's reflection match what we see? It does. <laughs> Boo. I want to make special and different. Hmm. Well, is there a role to be made in this room? Everything seems pretty commonplace. You're welcome to try, but it's uh, it looks like just a bunch of mirrors on the walls. There are also, as you can see, um, windows that are um, meant to be give the archer their full range of motion when defending a castle. <laughs> All right, so we could keep exploring this. I will remind everyone that our priorities, at least this trip, in, are largely centered in what we believe to be the basement. Well, was it our priority to get into the basement, or, or were we supposed to distract the Vampire Lord long enough for them to do Oops. that? Oops, sorry guys, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I don't think that Casimir should be wandering down there by himself. We agreed to help him, so we will. Okay. Help him find okay. his sister, and I also want to find Arjunvas the skull. Right. Which I believe is in the basement. Okay. Um, so, uh, looking at the map, then, uh, the best way to get to the basement from where we're at... I, I <clears throat> DM, does the secret door show up on the map? You got a perfect sketch of the outside of the castle. Um, the inner halls and the inner workings, you were able to get some sense that there's, you know, much more below than there would should be, but when you get some points of in, ingress and egress, but your, as far as the 
the a map of the actual hallways and stuff you do not mm. have. Um, there is the, the hallway does continue here as well, but also you know there's door here. You know what's over here and up here and whatnot. So this looks like a fairly defensible room, at least. Nice to know it's here. Um, Peter, roll twenty is kind of wigged out. Yeah, Peter, what's going I'm on? Looking, I'm just looking at a, a map yeah. with like there's no imagery on it, but it, it's the grid system yeah. and then I, blacked I out. I see it. I see mm -hmm. the stuff. Mine did that maybe earlier. I need to reload refresh. Yeah. yeah, when I yeah. reloaded it. Try refreshing. I, uh, no I accidentally pulled you guys back and forth between two maps, so it might okay. have got happened that way. We got splinched. I am. Ooh. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, no. Go. But yeah, uh, looks like, I mean, this is fairly secure. R room to move around. Um. I mean, well, uh, okay, yeah. Well, we're following you, I guess, Claire. Um, yeah, real quick, let's just, I'm going to take a quick peek at that, down this hallway, see how far it goes. Okay. Has the music stopped, Peter, or is it me? It's in it's a lull. So, um, I'm reloading as well, and as you look around the corner, let my map load as well lots of data here and it continues onward to what appears to be another staircase Ooh. so with both a down and a leading up and down all right well we have two stairwells that lead down i say we might as well take one of them anyone give a fuck i think the one that's from the secret room might give us a little better chance of survival than the one that is just sort of out in the open? Sounds good Maybe to me. Maybe in many castles I have been in, they have a outer wall that is mostly for defensing and servants to move through. That might be what we are in now. So this Makes could sense. take us directly down. Directly down, well, sort of out of character, kind of like the idea of keeping to the outside aisles of the supermarket. Yeah. Need to go down anyway. Since this was sealed off, we might encounter interesting less things. Dangerous things. All right. So unless anyone has any objections, I will lead the group down this stairwell. Okay. You start moving that way, and you hear a familiar tone played upon the pipe organ, and you hear. Mm, of course. Just so you know, Peter, that cuts you out. And then silence. Out. Zoom doesn't like. I know. I hate I that. Yeah. It it sounds like it sounds like like this. Also, kind of cut out. Sounded yeah. like somebody yeah. taking a bite out of a sandwich. But okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. nom, 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 nom. Oh, that was bad. The dreaded trap witch. Being unfriendly with me. Wow. All right, Zoom. I'll show you what's what. Um. But it appears the organ has slid back into its original position. So we're definitely going this way. It would seem. I if I brought pythons. It did. Cool. Cool. So down we go. Down you go. Winding down air getting cooler cooler and cold almost winter like cold and you wind your way down a few rotations and you think you've gone 30 40 maybe 50 feet down this stairway and ten, 10 more followers until we do a giveaway oh <gasps> cool ten more. Is there, yeah, followers. do you guys do you follow, us, follow us on Twitter exclamation point giveaway thing or giving away a little cool thing that uh, really cool thing that our very own Ryan here made mm -hmm. for the chat so custom leather work it's really awesome so I make things I love leather and you should too as you continue down 
Um, as I said, the air gets very cold and you emerge. Oh, let me pull the players over here. Into a place you feel is far below. So how many feet are we talking were? that we went down? Probably about um, about 50 feet. So this is the basement. And here you've come to a 10 foot wide corridor. Ahead of you is a door and the air is cold and unusually damp. Well, this seems uh, crypt-like. I think maybe I should creep on ahead. What do you think? Pretty good at being quiet. Indeed. All right, go ahead. Don't want to go too far. Well, it was not as good as it's been, <laughs> but the 12. <laughs> <sighs> we'll creep forward to look around the corner. Okay. Did you get indigestion? Here you can kind of see row on row appear to be what were perhaps barracks. There's this sickly yellow lichen clinging to the ceiling as well. Um, both sides, there are these alcoves with rotting cots, rags, and what appear to be the remains of castle guards. There's a deathly silence filling this hall, and the cold air pressing out it seems to blow on your face like a cold winter evening. Um, the coldness seems to most certainly be centered somewhere in this direction. So the last time we went into a cold room with like moss and shit, it sucked. Oh, we should ask the halfling what she record. knows about this. Akanta. Yes. There's uh some stuff in here you might know about. Might be within your experience or purview. Oh. Am I taking oh. a peek? Yeah, I'll look. What do you want me to look at? Just well that we point out to her. Some lichen and stuff up there. Might oh mm, yeah, hard for me to be st stealthy holding a torch. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Oh yeah, I, I think I know about this stuff. What do you want to know about it? Uh, DM. You can make an nature <laughs> like, check, Akafa. Do, <laughs> do, I, do I need to roll? What am I doing? Yep, roll a nature check. Let's go. Oh, ouch. What's she mm. looking at for nature? Ain't natural. <laughs> What's she looking at for nature? Uh, the uh, yellow lichen that we see in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I have any idea? Nope. You can try <laughs> as well. You know just as much as she does. <laughs> Which is nothing with wow. that roll. Okay, yeah, it so looks like looks like mold yeah. on a rock. It's mold on a rock. Well, <laughs> I learned so much today. Yay! So I'm on one side looking around the corner, and I look over at um, uh, Claire, and I hold the, the torch up to my face, and I make the the um, glamour armor sort of a eyebrow like motif on the mask. Go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I raise my own eyebrow in return. Do they need to go in there? Down the hall or through the door? Down the hall. Okay. I take a step forward. Wait, wait, wait. Why? why? Well, she's through? looking for a stupid skull. In the barracks? It, maybe oh, it's I, there. No, I... I was just... I thought you just wanted me to look around. No, no, I was like, I was wondering if we really needed to go down into the barracks or if we could just skip Oh, it. no, see, I was thinking we should just skip it, so... Okay, cool. Like, I did not realize what you were communicating to me <laughs> <No>. there. <laughs> the like, lack of, like, face is, sorry, like, no. re really getting to me with uh, nonverbal communication here, Jiswaldo. Did, did Elena say she just wanted to skip a room? She did, actually, which seems really strange. <laughs> Maybe she's not herself. Mimic! Hmm. Really all right, where are we going? All of us. Skipping a room. 
Richard. So proud of you, Alina. I know. <laughs> I'm growing as a person. <laughs> Which is good because well, you're What if there's treasure in there and we miss it? What's treasure going to do for us in here? Could be one of those like, coins that you need to complete something. Uh, well, okay, if I'm playing a video game, that's different. <laughs> I will comb through literally everything. Mm -hmm. That being said, hmm. considering our perception was there's mold on rocks. Yeah. And like I said, the last time I went into a room that was cold with mold, it went really badly for me, so... Oh, yeah, I was there. Yeah, that was horrid. Well, let's was that... go through the door then. Was that when the door tried to eat you? Or? No, that was later. I was just going to say, like, Cyber, do you want to hear about the other time that Claire got totally screwed with by, like, environmental effects? <laughs> Anything beyond this door? Yeah. You open it? I listen at it. You listen at it. It says hello. No, oh, we're good. And I open it. Okay. Um... As the door opens, there is a sort of palpable sense of uneasiness that passes between all of you. You feel unsafe, perhaps, or just strange, except for you, Jeswaldo. This seems frightening, but okay. Very bad as well. And there are dark stains covering the floor of this area. There are large oaken tables here, um, scarred and beaten scattered like toys about the room. Uh, the wood is crushed and splintered. Replacing them are furnishings made entirely of human bones. The walls of this 20 foot high vault, uh, of this 20 high vaulted ceiling room are a sickly yellow color. Not because of faded or time-worn plaster, but because they are adorned also with bones and skulls arranged in a morbidly decorative fashion, giving the room a cathedral-like quality. Four enormous mounds of bones occupy the corners of this ossuary, and garlands of skulls extend from these mounds to a chandelier of bones that hangs from the ceiling above a long table constructed of bones in the center of the room. Ten chairs made of bones and festooned with decorative skulls surround the table, resting atop which is an ornate bowl-shaped vessel made of, you guessed it, more bones. To the north are doors sheathed in bone, and steel-banded double doors sit in the center of the west wall. Above these eastern doors is mounted an enormous skull of a dragon and that is where we will take our break Hi. Wow. welcome back everyone we are beneath the castle ravenloft right now in the larders of ill omen um, we have oh just entered a room in which there are piles of bones a chandelier of bones all of the um all of the oh. furniture itself is constructed of bones it is creepy <laughs> And there is this pervading sense of dread as the party enters it. But first, I would like to just cool. give a little shout out. We are four cool. followers away from a giveaway, a really cool um, uh, leather item that our own Ryan here has made us, courtesy of the Buckle and Rose. A leather um, item. Um, it's a... Uh, what's the? How would you describe it, Ryan? Is it just a key fob? Yeah, a genuine leather key fob. Genuine with, leather there key are, fob with customization. There are pictures of it in our Discord. I hear in the you. general chat. I hear so you. once we hit that number, if we hit it tonight, we will sort of um, immediately start a giveaway. We will give you instructions on how to do that when it happens. But if you're here, if you get. If you tell your friends the like and we hit that, we'll start the giveaway right on for uh, 300, right? So, yeah, 300. Yeah, yeah I'll be keeping we'll my eye on it throughout the stream. You know, he's going to be just not paying attention and just refreshing over and over again and forget to cast shield and die. And What's that? Sorry? No. Uh, <laughs> all right, back to everything. Here we are. So back to, to everything. Literally, Fine. as soon as these doors open and we see bones everywhere, I hmm. use Divine Sense. You extend the sense out from you, and um, 
I know obvi- I know the obvious things. What are the other features of Divine Sense? What else can you detect? Um, I detect celestial fiends, undeads. I know the type, and I know uh, whether something has been desecrated or consecrated. Okay. Um, this whole room, super desecrated. Oh, hot shit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feng Shui all to hell. Just... But, um... Literally. <laughs> no, um, I actually... I don't know what desecrated means on from like a DD. I am the desecrated perspective. Um desecration means that it has energy um, from the lower planes, correct? It means that um undead are have uh are making their um um turn undead saves at advantage. All of their saving throws. Oh yeah, all their saving throws. But that's the big Oh one. in terms of the game. Okay. Um, and then are there any um, undead or um, uh, other things pinging? Okay. Negative. All right. Um, well, I I look back to the group. Um, this is fucked up shit, but um, there's a dragon skull in here, so we should probably go in. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And um, Cyborg? Um, it's not that bad. Just, um, Don't eat anything. Be careful. Okay. Um, here, like you again, you hear his stomach just audibly like. <laughs> when was the last time you ate? Um. During the, I mean, I I've eaten. Okay. You've eaten all of just, those skulls already. I mean, not all of the skulls. I, I've, I've had stuff. Okay, just don't. I don't worry about it. I know what I know what I have okay. to do. It's all good. You're fine. All right. Cantha will go up and uh. Just hold his hand. Oh, Don't worry, I got you. So oh. the skull is above these doors, you said? Mm-hmm. Well, I will approach and kind of look up at it. Uh, well, how 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 big how big is it? <laughs> it's very large. He was an ancient silver dragon, so it is about the size of you. DM, is there a, uh, a finger bone, something small, like lying around that I could maybe take? Dozens and dozens and dozens of them, yes. I would like to take one. Okay. Steady. You're trying to hide it from your. Okay. Get okay. sleight of hand check. 17. I Anyone have higher it. passive perception? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I have a 17. I mean, I have a 17. Yeah. Then so half the party a, a few of you noticed, Jeswaldo. Um, what, you've got passive ball? perception, 17. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> Me over here just like straight up blind. Yeah. <laughs> Ethel, exactly Ethelflaed and I both kind of share a look of like, she just... Maybe he's on Souvenir. the too. All right. So the immediate problem that I'm seeing is that we could take it down but as far as we could tell from what we heard the front doors may not be an option for us to get back out well there's windows there's walls there's ropes but it's like it's huge the question that i have is do we find a definite way out first and then circle back for it or do we take it down now well, I guess it depends on how heavy it is. Mm-hmm. Certainly would be conspicuous. And do we have anything should we, we could... run into trouble? Yeah. yeah. If we take it down, we have to carry it now. Or pull it. I would like to point out, too, that my objective is I will help you with this, but I need to find something else while we're here. No, we haven't forgotten. Don't worry. No. Well, do we have the means to actually carry this? without just having everyone heft it? Um, Akantha, um, the last druid that we worked with had the ability to turn into rather large creatures that could carry things that were rather heavy. Is that something you're capable of? Okay. Um. Well, that's goes for all of us then. 
We could all escape this castle that way. I'll escape the castle what way? If she turns into something large enough that flies. We could also jump. Jump? Mm -hmm. I, I have the magic. Can you token. catch all? Can you catch all of us? I can allow well, us I all can... to float down. Yes. Huh. I don't know. You could cover well, that many people with that kind of magic. Well, I think your idea is a good one, Claire. We I mean, find out a way to get out, and we wait until after we have found this one sister, and then we return. All right. So we'll leave the skull for now, then. So, north or east, then? I want to see what's underneath that skull, don't you? You mean what's over here? Uh, anyone who's uh, perhaps a little tad more perceptive than me want to take a listen to the door, see if we're walking into some bullshit? Of course. I can have a listen. Sabra will walk up to no. the door. I'm not perceptive. Oh. Wrong character. Oh, go on. <laughs> Wrong character. Right. <laughs> who's, who's I play too much D&D. I, no right. <laughs> I will help you. Oof. No such thing. Yes, Oof. No such All thing. right. That's good. So, help on that one? Let's yeah, this was like, I will help. All right. There we go. <laughs> 13 turned into a 24 perception. This is why I'm here. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, you hear what sounds like a sort of soft uh, shuffling sound. Would I, DM, would I recognize that sound from my experience with the undead? Or does it seem to... The... Um, it could be. Though it sounds, you're hearing like sort of a... The, the sound sounds like a, maybe like a leather boot or something scraping across the, across the floor and then sort of a like a wet or um, just sort of scaly fish, like something okay. slapping on the ground. So it's like, I do not I just, like and I that. Just, and I just yeah. hear the sound of like the one set of boots kind of coming mm -hmm. down the, okay. Uh, well, one boot like, and one yeah. wet fish or whatever. Seems like a boot and a fish. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's like a well, because it's like a there's like a clear like of like a heel hitting the stone, and then it's like the like a, like a yeah, squelching. Yeah, like you like when it, whenever you've seen like a fish hit the uh, the dock, and it just kind of does that like splash sound. It's a boot and a fish. Oh, well, nothing hard. Then the we fish, can move everyone. on. Yeah. Does it it's sound not interesting? I mean, How definitive. Um, you know, how about just to be safe, maybe we should check the other door as well. Try to make an informed decision. Okay, I'll check the other door. The northern door. Is anyone helping me? Nice I'm the the I'll go check. Can someone help? <laughs> <laughs> I've got this. Provided I am assisted, yeah. I know, so I was right, like, so, just tell me now. No, no, uh, no, say, no. Uh, Cyber will back you up, Apple Flat. Is there, while they're doing that, is there a gap underneath the door? Like in between Not the, the door and the floor? Um, very slight, so you're in the part of, th this castle is very strongly, um, constructed and so there's not there aren't large gaps where the air will pass back and forth um, these doors stretch almost floor to ceiling you'd have to be an ant really to um, crawl under it so oh, I, I got to... a 21 21 um, for the north door yeah you listen carefully you hear nothing beyond Just the goal the is to find. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I know you've told us before, but where do you think your sister will be? Or her body, that is? Well, it might be on this level, but I don't see anything like a tomb here. Perhaps and... there is more further below. So Are you you're sure she was entombed? Well, our general That's understanding what is the that the soothsayer said. 
series of catacombs here. Right, so down. We're looking for more stairs to go down. This we need down. to search the place. Let's just open this door, fight whatever we need to fight, and move on. I agree. Great. Double doors it is. Going for the bootfish. Bootfish. Bootfish boot it is. Fish. All right, you you open the doors. Uh, did we all get in position first? Yeah. So, yes. so as Cyborg was moving around the room, he he tried to like uh, put some bones into his pack and whatnot. Though when I texted that to the DM, I said saber, and I was like, mm. oh, <laughs> you know, inappropriate <laughs> slip. That is very appropriate. Yes. Yeah. You open the doors. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I'm right. gonna back up and put myself back it up. On the table. They swing open and you see Interesting. a room filled mostly with silence. Heavy beams support a sagging 10 foot high ceiling. Fog clings to the floor, obscuring everything that lies less than three feet above it. A giant shadow lurches across the ceiling as a dark figure shuffles purposefully down the corridor to you. <laughs> ah! ah. They found my room, found it, found it, found it. Mm. My favorite room, favorite room. Yes, yes, yes. Who's this? Who's this? Who are you? Cyrus Bellevue. Who's oh. the master invited today? My name is Claire. Do you have relations elsewhere in Barovia? Relations? Family you members. speak oddly. I, I was educated in vocabulary by my sisters, yes. Educated in circumlocution, more like. <laughs> Be yeah. plainly, yes, family, Bellevue, name. All the Wait. others are crazy. All, all the others are crazy, but... Uh, but not me. What kind of craftsman could do that while being crazy? Look at me. Look at. Wait a Wait, second. So did, did and you... he rushes into the room. Oh, oh. You okay. passed you and starts what was looking his name around again? the room very closely. Cyrus, he says Cyrus. his name is. Cyrus Bellevue. So, Cyrus, you built this room? Mm hmm. Every piece. Well, how did you get Some the things changed about it. Well, I don't think so. You made a really pretty room. Mm -hmm. uh, Athelflaed is know, definitely right? glaring at Jezwaldo, since I did see him do that. It what? Yeah, like, Jezwaldo. If you've been here long enough to make this room, you must have been here a long time. Have you explored other parts of the castle? Oh, yeah. Well, I just so happened to find this outside this room. I think perhaps a rat might have taken it out. If I give it to you to put back where you want to put it, would you mind taking us to the crypts? A and I use Panache. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> All right, I have to readjust my screen here. Here we go. Persuasion. Oh, 16. Mm. It was almost much higher than that. <laughs> I was going to give you advantage. <laughs> I'll speak up faster next time. I would have helped. This is why you have to ask he, for help. He, he tries to snatch it from you. Do you let him? No. Nah. <laughs> nope. mm. Come on now. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you, but we need to find a certain that, tomb. We got. <laughs> I don't look. My, Just I, can I have it. my ball? Can oh, I have course, it back? Please? Of course, of course. Know exactly where it goes. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> he goes and he kind of wobbles over the table and puts it back, exactly back into where it goes. <sighs> oh, better. Okay. Well, all right. I will show you the way down, and then we. Take you to your sleeping quarters for the night. Uh, Master's yes, orders. That, that, that would I'm be sorry, perfectly fine. Yes, um, okay. but first you'll take us to the, the tomb, right? The crypt. So, so, yeah. Um, 
there's two ways down. There's the way through the, the boss, the boss, well, secondary boss man's office, and there's the other way, too. Um. Which way do you Through prefer? that door on the right. Well, we could uh, avoid the manager. That would be great. I wanted to cast him on the right and ask him what's his sister's name. What? I looked to Casimir and oh. said, what's your sister's name? Um, Again. I believe it's Leana. I'm actually, I'm actually I'm forgetting myself. I bet um, Claire finds it first. I'm not sure I ever wrote that he's, down. I don't think he's said that yet. He hasn't told us. You didn't write it down? He didn't tell us. If it's been told to us, I wrote it down. Um, Patrina. Patrina. Definitely don't have that. So, right. We're looking for a certain tomb. So, Patrina. Okay. I don't really go down there. It's creepy can I, and... Can I tell if he's heard that name or seen that name? I get insight check. Does anyone else want to do it? I will uh, assist you there, Jade. Uh, if I can, I don't allow I don't allow assisted uh, inside game checks in my game. I'll make um, my own. unless you are listening and then going somewhere else at the end of the conversation to talk about a particular point of yeah. it, then no. All so. right, so I'll make a separate one then. sixteen. Okay. Uh, he doesn't seem interested. Really, is more the, the best way to put it. Uh, he doesn't. It doesn't seem. To ring a bell. Also, so your panache lasts for a minute. For a minute. So we've had a little bit of conversation outside of this. So I'm, I'm, De Giswalo is definitely trying while he's been distracted and happy about getting this, the finger back and all that. Definitely trying to get the questions out in this minute. Yeah, of course. So, so, uh, all and right. He will so, say that, yeah. To the right, Tombs. then. Tombs down to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, down to the right or. To the north, and there's a little hidden door up there in the mass in the in the 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 you know the other boss's office. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's you like you like my way. room. Here's very your much. present for your room. Hey, do you need something to eat? By the way. Oh, no, I don't think so. We I'm just not ate. No. no, we just your ate. your master and had invited us to dinner. I was making dinner myself over here. What are you, you making? Don't want any. What what is it? You want to see? Do cuz I didn't yeah. eat. So <sighs> All right, come on. And he grabs you by the hand and starts to pull you through the door. Oh, boy. oh wow. Could, could, could we right have, about like, a now full it's body when the charm picture? is when the charm yes. wears off. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, it's getting close. So, um, Mary, Maris, have you moved on from Motto? My new boyfriend. <laughs> I thought that was a um, Ethelflaed that had a thing for Otto. No, it was Maris. Yes, that's why I said, can oh. I have a picture of no, my no. boyfriend? Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mar that was during Maris's dark time when she wasn't with us. Oh, yes. Yeah. Maris's I know, I've been sitting time. here the like... dark days of Maris. I've been trying not to like just go insane. So, he... okay. go ahead. Yeah. Where does he... Where does he... Um... He leads her over here okay. to this door. And he quickly opens it and a bit of steam wafts out of the room as well as a horrid order of decay. Ugh. There is a huge pot over a blazing fire. Um, in the center of the room and there are sort of green muddy contents churning and bubbling away inside. The far wall is lined with pegs and hanging from each are numerous large cooking implements, some of which could easily double as a torture instrument. And he pulls you inside and he says, yeah, 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 yeah. Smell that? Yeah, yeah, I, I smell it. Maris starts to try to back out towards the door. Does she get What's it? wrong? Not nothing. I mean, it just smells so delicious that I'm a little overwhelmed. And I you don't want to see what what I'm cooking. Come on. Oh, uh... yeah, I know it's hard to get the idea of how amazing it is by just smelling it. You 
it's like, it's the perfect spot right now where it's at. Promise. Come on. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not hey. going in there. Maris takes a breath and tries to, like, hold her breath without it being very obvious inside, that she's actually oh. holding her breath <laughs> to peek over the pot. Okay. And he's going and grabbing a giant spoon, like a, um, almost the size of a club and comes over like he's going to stir it. And as you see it, you see some sort of shape underneath the um, surface of this green bubbling liquid. And it seems to be some sort of round shape attached to, you know, something else. And you see then the round shape turn and it looks as if it's a head turning and looking upwards and ah! and some bubbles escape oh. come at and then an arm reaches up um and juts towards <gasps> your face oh my god what do you do maris tries to get out of the way <laughs> okay oh it it goes and it grabs the edge and <laughs> pulls itself up and you hear um you see ah damn it God damn it! Ah! And he comes over <laughs> with this huge spoon and starts to beat this creature on top Maris of the head. Maris is like turning her head. The head is squished like a grape on the edge of the pot, oh! and the rest of the contents fall no! back in. Oh, oh my God. And he looks like very, him. very disappointed. I don't no. like him anymore. Uh, uh, no. Uh. I am not, just, I'm just not the cook I used to be, really. And he kind of uses this giant club shaped sure. spoon to oh. take a sip of the liquid. Mm. Sometimes oh. my meals get a little out of hand. Uh huh. As he okay. uses, get as he flips the outreached arm back into the pot. Where do you find By the way, you're supposed to go back to your sleeping quarters. Yeah, you know, you can you go so down for... and. Look at those tombs whenever, right? Yeah, I'm... yeah, sure. Thanks, thank you for, yeah, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna uh, go. Who, who instructed you to um, take us to sleeping quarters? Well, it's the job, you know, you, I don't know how you got all the way down here. You know, boss probably tells you you're free to explore the castle or something like that, but you know, people always get lost and you gotta take them back to the sleeping quarters. Did, uh, did he say how long he expected us to stay? Um, no. I didn't know I'm supposed to take you to your sleeping quarters. Well, uh, let's get that about that then. We'll, we'll go there soon. What floor are they? So we know. Um, well, I'm gonna take you up, like, but, uh, a long way, but um, I'll take you. I'll I'll take you there to the stairs. Um, coincidentally, it's the same stairs that lead on down to the crypts. <laughs> but uh, that is a fun coincidence. As, yeah, it's I know. Right? Like, <laughs> it's like yeah. efficient construction of stairs in a building. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. <sighs> Where are those stairs? All right. You want to come with me? He extends his hand to you. <laughs> sure, yeah. Maris takes one for the team and takes his hand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Would there have well, been an opportunity to perhaps <laughs> keep him in this room? What? I was looking for an opportunity to perhaps keep him in this room, like as we were oh. all filing out, if we could make him last, I could close the door and jam. Well, he's up. leading you there and he grabs okay. Maris's hand and is like, come on. <laughs> oh, sure. You guys notice uh, just a couple of the features. There is a portcullis here. Um, you see that there are likely stairs leading, oops, that's making it invisible. There are stairs leading up here. Like I said, there's a portcullis at the end of the hallway and s sort of what look to be barrels um, behind here. And he will uh, open this door, lead you to a, what looks to be a set of stairs ahead. Now, Maris, he's got you next to him. Who is following closely? I'll be I'm right close behind, behind him. 
and Claire, it sounds like. All right. So when we hit this spot here, there is this sound as a... <laughs> the floor seems to um, shift somewhat. And you guys see suddenly um, a metal grate <laughs> suit down on each side. And the floor under you begins to plummet upwards or shoot upwards as if it's an elevator rocketing up Shit. at a enormously fast speed. That is, and the rest of you who are not on this, uh, this square of four right here, mm -hmm. um, see your companions simply just disappear as the floor rises up. Now this is like the floor, like literally like a column of stone goes straight up, which kind of cuts um, off the rest of the hallway from us? Yes, there is also a, um, you see for a moment, an empty area right here. You hear a grinding noise happening as if large, a large counterweight is perhaps falling or being adjusted at another location. Now, um, I draw my sword, by the way. Okay. Um, That's very good. Mm -hmm. Um, so. As this happens, we will the re those uh, four of us who are in the um, little room here will roll initiative to see in which order we do some things. The four with him. Yeah. Yes. So that would be um, oh, the three with him. Yes, yes. Maris and Claire and Giswaldo. Oh. All right. Where am I now? Good job, guys. Athelflaed, Elimus? Mm. No thoughts? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, as it rises, um, I need, uh, first of all, just Waldo to make a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw coming right up with a plus four from our lovely cleric. So that is a 13. Uh, okay. Jaswaldo, you feel very tired and you fall asleep. Oh. Claire. I assume the same. Uh, yes. Okay. A constitution saving throw. 14. You fall asleep. Wonderful. Maris. <clears throat> I'm asleep, so you don't get Couldn't she have gone last, so Maris could have had her bonus? <laughs> <laughs> it's only fair. It's not how it works, no, I guess. it's not. No bonus for you. Sorry, love. That's what it is for. No, no! But I have my inspiration from... You need to yell it before. You need to you... use it before. I didn't... <laughs> Is, isn't Maris an elf? Maris is a half elf. Does that make her? She doesn't then have the ability to be, uh, like just like magical has, sleep still she, affects her. So um, magic can't put her to sleep. But is this is this magic? That is a good point. You are a half elf, Maris. Mm hmm Wow, it has no effect on you. Yes. yes! Oh, good bless. Job, yes, thank you, Brian. It is. Good catch. It is magic sleeping gas. It is specified. So So you get to watch all of this. <laughs> so Maris head. is like uh, <laughs> yeah. whoa, uh um, whoa. and excuse as, you. God. As, as Large as clank of metal. It's amazing. <laughs> um let's see how he does. Bless. Uh, he's got a twenty one. Um and he kinda looks up <gasps> he's holding his breath and kinda <gasps> looking up at you like uh oh. Maris goes like. <gasps> <laughs> Come on, Maris. Kick us or something. Wake us up. Oh my God. Maris starts wait, kicking wait, wait, wait. Waldo. It's okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do you use your action to wake someone up? That's if we were there. Wake up, uh, wake up Claire. She nudges Claire. We're best friends. We're best. I just, we go through everything. You understand. Like, you and I are best friends. We're also really tight, so. Uh, 
who are you waking up? Oh, sorry. Claire. <laughs> okay. Claire, you are um, suddenly uh, nudged awake. Oh, oh shit. What the fuck just he, happened? He just says, oh. I... Oh, this wasn't how this was supposed to happen. Oh, man. Um, uh, what the fuck? How was it happened? supposed to happen? I mean, well, I mean, I I don't know. Wow, what happened? And that's his turn. Just Waldo, I think, is still asleep. Yep. It wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> Claire? I kicked Joe's Waldo. What the? Stand up, you ass. I stand up. What? <laughs> Where are we? What the fuck is going on, Cyrus? Are we still oh. rocketing up? No, you have now reached the top. You're like, oh. how about take us back down or die? Oh, what? How do we get Cyrus? Back? How was this supposed to go? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> oh God, we were all going to end up in his soup. That's how it was supposed to go. Oh, no. Just let him finish, just Walter. I'm sorry. How was it supposed to go? Oh, oh my God. I can see that you're formulating. I just need you to say it out loud. I just did what I was supposed to. Uh -huh. Did you know that that was going to happen to the floor? I mean, more or less, but wow, that was fast. So you don't know, do you know where we are? <laughs> well, yeah, we're upstairs, duh. Why are we upstairs, duh? How far you upstairs? Tell me. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, can you take um, us back downstairs? Mm, I mean, yeah. What did hey, we promise to bring you more bones hey, DM. for your room? I I assume that Ooh. we're like not so we've we've stopped. I assume that there's an egress of some sort. Uh huh. What, what do I what do we see? So right now you can see above you there is a trap door which is very easy to see. Um. And that's um, uh, then the portcullises move out um, and then you see um, there is a small area um, 10 by 10 foot just outside of where the um, elevator has stopped but that is all that you see at the moment. What do you think? If we, we, we want to go to the crypt if you take us down, we will go there and bring you more bones for your beautiful room. How does that sound? Well, I don't know. Panache. I should. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god. Wisdom we... save? No, is he? Well, it, it would have to depend. Is he classified as um, hostile? Um. Yeah, not really. I mean, he's trying. Right. Yeah, yeah. So if he's neutral, then it's a um, an insight check versus my persuasion check. Got a six. So <laughs> I have a twenty-eight. <laughs> so just take us back down. I mean, oh <laughs> it would be the polite thing to do, and the master wants you to be polite, does he not? Okay. He does, I guess. Master, you're really nice too. Um, um, just as a point of hey, curiosity. Hey, hey, do you I'm know? Sorry. And he kind of but beckons you closer. He's like, "Hey, uh, question, quick." What? Well, after we go down? No, 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 no. I mean, I'm not. I'm. I can send you guys back down, but I have to pull a lever. It's over there, and so I can't come with you. But I will definitely send you down. But I have a question. I have to ask you real quick before I do that. Okay. Come here. I think I'll stay right go. here. Do you, no, do you really? Go. No, it's it? just it's just you and me. I just okay. All right, what? Do you really like your companions downstairs or not? Excuse me. I do like them actually. Really? Yes. I mean, so if like it would probably make me safer if we kind of sent it down and one of them got you know like that. 
by the rock. It would make you decidedly less safer. You would find yourself sans head. How did you hear that? I was talking really quiet. You're yeah, can we hear loud. him? Can we hear him? There's no I way if we're all clustered right in that space. It's, I mean, it's he rolled unlikely. A four on, he rolled a four on his stealth. It's a natural oh, yeah. one. So. He's a yeah, you all heard it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> For you, I'll do it. What, as a I'll go pull the lever. Stand in you. this place. Yeah. What's up there? I pointed the trapdoor. Um, I mean, the, the uh, more parts of the castle. Bedrooms and what I call it. Library and a study and some stuff like that. Okay, good to know. All Thank right, you. I'm gonna pour this. I'm gonna pull this leather, or, or should I sit here for another minute? No, pull the lever. Okay, I'll go pull the lever. <laughs> and he kind of exits, and you guys uh, hear a <laughs> and <laughs> the portcullises go back down, and you feel yourself plummeting back down. And this time. The rest of you downstairs have just seen your companions disappear. Um, being uh, pulled up, it seems, pulled upwards through a sort of elevator shaft. Um, further than you can see. <clears throat> what have you done in the meantime? <clears throat> kind of, I turned and looked to uh, both Limus and uh, Alifly was just like, um, do we wait? And then DM, so... So, uh, so is it like the floor that they were standing on was lifted up, and it was it just like, was it just there like is a, left like an like indent. a piece of floor, or was it like yeah. the entire column of stone just went? Whoop, so where's no, it like, it's like it's like you you see like what an indent okay. in the ground, which would have been the yeah, floor like that the, was the, raised. The slab of the floor went straight up. Okay, slab raised. Slab raised. All right. Um, I guess we wait for the lift to come back. <clears throat> Should. We, we can't fuck. Oh, Do I follow? Does anybody? Wait. No. No. I think I... they'll send the lift back down. <laughs> yeah. We okay. should okay. not so try to just, go up. Just wait here? Or we yeah. could go up the stairs. I'm assuming we just wait here. Yeah. I mean, they'll send it back down, right? They're being led by an idiot. So I'm sure yeah. they'll realize that they've left half the party. Hey. Okay. Uh, I don't talk about Claire that way. Oh, fuck um, off. Uh, are you sure we don't want to look up the stairs at all while that idiot's <laughs> not here to get in our way? I mean, or we could look down. The stairs? The stairway is the one that leads down into the catacombs, right? We could, we could look down. No, I, I well actually. So uh, Cyber is going to go ahead and walk oh, oh, towards the um, towards the stairwell. <sighs> no, the thing like, is, the way you timed that is roll a D one hundred. He's had he's done panache <laughs> for a minute. Yeah, there. he's done panache and it had That's to travel. Right, 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 right. I've done I'll it again. <laughs> Make a dexterity so saving throw. At this point, he five... would be within ten feet of me. Uh, so I'm what? betting that falls within the like the five percent <laughs> category, right? I just rolled a two on a two one hundred, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. Oh my god. Man, Peter was like, "There's no way I'm gonna have these traps affect any one of these party." And both Maris like, and I have. They went up and woke each other up, and so it was like six seconds, and then just Waldo. You know, after about 15 more seconds, he used panache, and 30 seconds later, he pulled the lever. Right. And you guys yep. sat around and talked about things for about a minute. Oh wow. God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I Run. just, I just crit Run. failed on that deck. <laughs> <My day. idea. laughs> um, please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. This is barely. what I get for. <laughs> All right. You know, I was trying to role play here. All right, like <laughs> I understand what? how that is. Like as the player, I would, but and it's fine. It's fine. I, the dice honestly, tell a story, I, and the I, story is me being turned. Ryan, into Ryan. Uh, I I'm awarding you inspiration because <laughs> this is that is such. Uh, also, give uh, me a couple of seconds, and I will find the uh, the macro to you know to do the forty six drop lowest. Right. 
All right. So with inspiration, I rolled a 16. Well, but not. Sorry, you get inspiration after this. Yeah, <laughs> you don't get to roll oh, it on this. Oh, great. I'm giving oh. you inspiration after this uh, event. So um, you guys see... Um, Incidentally, as this all inspiration happens, carries over to new characters. So. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Uh, Ryan, go ahead and roll the, um, uh, 4d6. He, he's like, oh, we should maybe go... You see him... Maybe we should maybe go look. The stairway's down. He steps yeah, into this little indent. The... And just... <laughs> Bam! And he is mostly knocked out of the way, but not before taking uh, forty-three points of bludgeoning Holy damage. Crap. Sorry, I'm sorry. Did you say four T three? Four T three. Oh my god! Eight did you D ten bludgeoning damage. Did, did, you, guys, did you guys? Did you guys feel Two thousand pounds of elevator. Oh my god! Oh. Of you. Uh, did you guys feel something that was a little bumpy, right? Uh, oh my god, Cyborg! Oh my god! Say something. You are not going to be okay. <laughs> somebody, oh. somebody he... get the name of that. Is he still up? Is he train. up? Is he concussed? <laughs> are you up? Uh, is he up? I, what? Yeah, you're down. You're yeah. back. No, Hello. he. Hey, buddy. So I think I'm bleeding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maris is Internally. going to. I... No, God. Maris. It was is... just like, you know, he didn't get completely flattened underneath it, obviously. But as he started to fly out of the way, you could see, um, you know, first it hit his head, and then the sheer force downwards. He did about two flips, and then. <laughs> with more force than you could think possible, face down, teeth down onto the stone floor, Ooh. just slammed. Oh my god, Maris is gonna catch- So his face is just bleeding, you see his blood all over his shirt, he's just kind of looking around, not knowing what happened. I think I'm bleeding. Maris is gonna catch healing <laughs> word. Oh my god. I think I'm... Remember I'm that cure wounds word. will do much cure more wounds. healing. Oh right, sorry, I'm is... sorry! Oh jeez. I've got red on me. We're all gonna die. Ooh, gold no. star. <laughs> Oh my god. I think I can sit down. That was 21. <laughs> I'll, I'll um, help him over to the stairs and get him to sit down and start wiping some of the blood off of him. Um. <laughs> Typical Friday nights for me, am I right? <laughs> oh. Alright. <laughs> well. Is that, this was actually yours, Cyborg. <laughs> Pulled out one of his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save it as a snack. No for later. It's a tic tac. <laughs> oh, oh. Pixie gave us 500 bits. If you haven't got inspiration, you can roll Five, a d20. Pixie. Of the d20 kind, correct? A oh. d20 kind, yes. If you haven't got inspiration, thank you very much, Pixie. You're far too generous. You don't need no, to roll. I can't roll for this inspiration because oh, the DM God. gave me mercy <laughs> or pity inspiration. Is that right? Pity inspiration. <laughs> I can't. I just it. love that you dipped your toe in that piranha-filled pool. It was, oh man, uh, it's amazing. Yeah. So, I, I apologize for pushing you face first into that. <laughs> I don't want to die. It's a great idea, guys. So currently, yeah. I'm sitting um, at a so, 17 with that. Anyone else need just, to roll? I think that's Let's it. Let's just up the stairs. Yep. How bad so, could it be? Elena, uh, Claire won the D20 inspiration. On top of that, Looks like we Peter. Have to get a you have to roll a uh -huh. potion, thanks to Pixie. Thank you very much, Pixie, uh, again. Pixie. Thanks, Pixie. <laughs> Thank <you. laughs> it's a regular healing potion. Um, Which I, I think we should probably leave just it up pour. To you guys to... We pour it straight down Sipple's yeah. <laughs> throat. Yeah, well, yeah whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. Thank you All very right, much, I got Pixie. It. Uh, plus uh, seven hit points to you, Cyborg. More. Hooray. Well, uh, you downstairs, everyone. Um, Cyborg, how are you? Oh, oh, how are I have you almost. Doing, <laughs> I've almost, I've almost uh, healed back up from the forty-three damage I took. Nice. <laughs> would you, would you like another healing potion? Um, uh, DM, am I allowed to uh, attempt my? Uh, Excuse uh, me. Sorry. My, my, my heals, or is that a? Um, you have a limit that you can do that, right? Uh, yeah, once per short rest. So. Uh, yeah, you can do it then. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Cyborg, no, you, you've been very helpful. I'm just going to 
just gonna take a minute. <laughs> and so you can see him just like sort of inhale and take a breath. You just like snort the blood and then. So, no, no, you see him go like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a gob of like <laughs> spit and blood. I was like, I'm gonna try to get, hang on. Amazing. I had to clear out my throat. Do you, do you still have all your teeth? Technically, yes. <clears throat> on my person, yes. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so I can glue Some in my stomach, but it's all right. Yeah, right Are there. you okay, kid? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm does, okay. That, does that okay. count as food for Cyborg? So, air of caution, everyone, yes? Because apparently the fours here move sometimes. And Floor's then go son back of a down. Bitch. Yeah. Good, 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 good lesson, everyone? Good, yeah. yes. Good, right. great. Glad now we learned go. something today. So what happened upstairs? Um, sleeping gas. They fell asleep. It was fine. Yeah, uh, Maris woke us up, or rather Maris woke us up, I woke up Jeswaldo, and then Jeswaldo convinced the strange flesh, fish-slapping foot man to what you... send us back down. Uh, bootfish. Bootfish. <laughs> bootfish, okay. I believe, I believe he did give us a name. So I know, I know, Cyrus. No, I love, I love fish-slapping boot man. <laughs> Why did they try to make you... The folk singer name. Yeah. Why did they try to put you to sleep? <laughs> I think they did a tour with Old Crow Medicine Show, right? Uh, he was he going to? Were you guys going to be dessert? He just said that he was doing what he was told to do. What does mm. this mean? Well, we can't defend ourselves when they come to eat us, right? I say next time we see him, we kill him. That was my plan, but unfortunately, he had to work the machine. Yeah, his upstairs. token isn't actually here, right? Yeah. DM. He didn't come down with Who's? us. Who's? Right? Uh, no, he he so pulled yeah, the lever elsewhere. Yeah, yeah okay. Also, so in, in response, go. yeah. All right. In response okay. to Cyborg's old crow medicine joke, rock me mama like a granite slab. Anyway, old crow medicine joke. Great stuff. Hey, cool. So yeah. we're, we're, we're moving on. Um, uh, I look, did he pull a lever down here? No. You can see now, now that the mist dissipated a bit, the fog dissipated, that um, there was a very, very large pressure plate, and he led you guys onto it, including himself. Oh. So just we step over it. That is um, on the sort of uh, elevator itself. Okay, I'll jump over. You also notice that when um, uh, Maris and Cyrus stepped onto it, it didn't go up. But once all four of you were there, yeah. it sprung. So Cyborg noticed it coming down, I think. <gasps> <laughs> I missed the, the license plate. You'll get it next time, buddy. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right, we go down to this. Heading down so the you turn on down the stairs, bringing you to. Oh, it goes that's... about eighty feet down. How happy am I that we had a health have health bonus? By the way, that was um. That um, this could have gone it. pretty differently had that yeah. not been the case. <laughs> What did you say? I've had a half elf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're really happy about that. I mean, it's the best race. I am blocking the way. Are you like mm -hmm. a full elf? No. Yeah. You have two oh. half elves. I, oh, that's right. I definitely thought you were like a straight up elf. No. no. She acts oh, okay. It's, it's so because she acts like, all snooty. How dare like you yeah. not know my character details perfectly? Um, because, okay. like, well, because of what you said, because you were being so snooty about elves versus humans. <laughs> well, exactly. I'm, I'm a self-hating half-elf. Yeah. Wow. You've got I issues. Edgelord. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was! Oh my god, remember how I was like, what's that word for, like, when you're, like, really evil oh, 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 and, like, it. sharp? <laughs> We've come first full circle. What is it? A serpent? To edgelord. edgelord. No, an edgelord! Oh, you're an edgelord, edgelord. just well done. <laughs> well... He's a rogue. That's okay. what they do. My brain is satisfied now. 
Oh my god, yes. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> but acerbic is also a five dollar word. So I that is one of my favorite words. Yeah. Acerbic, sardonic, lead us forward, Claire. Absolutely. I should unmute myself when I try to talk. Personal choice. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you guys walk forward, you see um, those of you who are not here suddenly see two splashes of water. Please, Cyborg and uh, Elimus, stay back where you were. As the first one, as Claire, <laughs> there's an enormous splash of water, and she suddenly disappears from sight. What? And also, the same happens to Jeswaldo as he steps to this location here. So where should we, we will be? get to the wait, two wait. of you in a brief moment, but that is what the two of you see as this happens. It's an enormous <laughs> splash of water and a um, <laughs> grinding sound. Right. It's the last time we are not checking for traps. From now on, that's your geez, job. Someone, it's almost that like is an explosion. Not my job. <laughs> an explosion of air and water, and they seem to be. Um, Did gone. they just get hit by an elevator too? No. All right, we'll search for Are traps. We... <laughs> All right. You move forward, Fuck. make the uh, check. Move to there. Um, and... Da, 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 where are you? Maris and um, Ethelflaed have to split the difference between their, 19. like, sizes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think my size is perfect. It's quite bold. And that's my go-to word for Athelflaed. Mm. Bold. Gotcha. Um, looking forward, do you see that there are some what look like maybe um, you don't see where they went, the where they could have gone through, but um, on the floor you see three more hatches or something like that, disturbances in the ground. Just barely under a bit of the water that covers the floor have, here. Can you put the one that we actually trapped, uh, tripped on there as well? Yes. <laughs> In case we have to and, run back through here. And as you look through, it looks like those are gone. They seem to have sealed. As far as you can tell. Uh, I'll go and check this one. I want to see what it is. Is it some sort of shoot that that's taking them away, or...? Um, looking down, all you can tell without triggering it is that there is... If you would step upon this, it seems like it would swing under, maybe hinge down, and with water or whatever, be pulled away. We have to go after them. <laughs> right? Jeswaldo, check the door to the north. Jeswaldo isn't here. Yeah, he's down. He and I went down. Cyborg, <laughs> check the north door. All right, Cyborg's going to go ahead and uh, fly. Uh, well, actually, uh, DM, can I, do I have enough room to sort of spread my wings? Um, It's about 10 feet high. You could be five feet off the ground. Yeah, okay, cool. So yeah. I got enough room to sort of hover. All right, then. Yep. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and... So, uh... Where do you want me to go, Limus? Check that door. Okay, Just okay. To see if they're in there. Hover to the door and make a perception check to see if I can hear any sounds of Giswaldo or Claire uh, swearing. Um, and at that point, uh, we'll kind of adjust. Um, this is... And then I uh, tell uh, Akantha and Maris to sort of stay back. There are traps on the floor. Akantha. Do you have an animal that can breathe underwater? Do, do I have an... Well, I don't have any pets, but I can turn into something. You can turn into something that breathes underwater. Mm-hmm. Jeswaldo. You find yourself... You emerge and um, are... <coughs> emerge in a um, dungeon here. You are... You have about a foot left of headroom of water. Oh. There are iron bars in front of you. Ooh. So I'm in a cell that it, in the room is flooded. Mm -hmm. 
does the water seem to be there is a corpse beneath you it seems to be a recent kill perhaps of a male half elf dressed in leather armor Hmm. um claire sorry um you find yourself yes actually on the same side here And as you immediately uh, get into here, when you kick up to get up, you feel the ground sort of give way and you hear, even under the water, sort of a metallic clinking sound as if a few hundred coins or something were kicked out of the way. Looking down in the water, you see almost this place is filled with riches. Now, the perception checks. I rolled an 18 for my perception check. Okay. Does anyone say anything from inside their cells? Oh, or what well, so if there's any breathing room whatsoever, the minute I'm shunted out, I'm like, yeah. what in the flying fuck just happened? Good. Oh, good. All right, I am in some sort of cell, I think. Yep. Um, and Me water too. all around. Okay. Um, yep. This is fun. I love this. Look to see if you have like a, um, if it's a cell, perhaps there is a door. Uh, I assume the bars in front are some sort of like, maybe cell door? Question mark. DM, if I sort of doggy paddle over to it. Yeah, there is a, it's uh, you know <laughs> iron bars like you would think, and there is a door with a lock attached. Yeah, it looks like there's an egress here. Um, not my egress. area. Um, would love it if you could get me out. That'd be great. All right, let me let me take care of something here. Um, I want to search this body. Okay. Dive down and make a... Uh, um, well, ob- there's obviously on him a longsword um, that is not able to be hidden. Uh, make a investigation check. 18. Booyah. You also found tucked into a um, pocket looks to be some type of vial. I take the vial. You think it's a potion. All right. Then I look at the door, um, the gate here to see if there is a lock. At this point, the rest of you, the water is heavy, but you think you um, can hear them beyond here, beyond I- these doors. There's, there's voices behind the door. I think it's them. Zyvor! Does Waldo? Oh my god, they're dying. Chewy! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, they're no, dying! No, I've killed them! Oh, curse oh, my metal oh. bolts! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It wasn't fast enough. Right, okay. Um. Is the door locked? No, shut them all down. Oh. <laughs> Open the damn door. <laughs> Alright, so uh, the door that I'm in front of, DM, can I... Mm-hmm. Is, it, is it locked? It is. Great. Um, right. Cyborg, this room is full of water! Doesn't someone but, have knock? Can you can you breathe? Not prepared. Are, are For you... the moment, I'm going to try to open up the gate. Uh, we're, we're locked in cells. I'm going okay. to try to get us out, but again, the room is full of water! And as you say that, you hear... <laughs> It feels like the water level is slowly beginning right. to okay. rise. Oh, shit. I, Fuck. Tits. And it's ah. rising. And, and it's oh, rising. Okay. Okay. It's right. Um, okay. I'm going to use my thief tools to um, okay. open the lock. Meanwhile, to get around the other side to pick, you don't, it's not like a pass through lock. Mm, You're okay. having to do this blind and from the other side, and it will be at disadvantage. Okay. Check. Okay. Meanwhile, Jade's kicking himself because I was going to take water breathing. That's one of the spells I always take. <laughs> well, you took feather fall. You never, um, it's it's either feather fall, water breathing, or fly. The day you don't take um, it is exactly yep. the adventure. I've so got fly in the ring, but I from, always learn water, water breathing. From my vantage point, can I see um, if this door has a lock on it? It does. They all do. You notice that all of these do. Um, just Waldo, you. It will take you some time to do this as well. Per um, check. So I have rolled a twenty-four. Oh, I thought that I. I thought you saw the um, um, 
The 18. Okay. As you're doing this, you feel like you have the right way. It's going to take you about a minute to keep to continue prying open this lock, but you feel pretty confident. All right, uh, Claire, I can do this. It's going to take some time, so... Um... Um, my question, actually, DM, wasn't the cell doors. It was this door. Sorry. Is there a visible locking mechanism it on it? Um, yes. There is. Like, openable from this side? Yeah. Okay. Um, so in that case, I misty step <laughs> through the... Um, the gate and just sort of poof over well here specifically okay and then want to go under and see if i can get this door to open okay it will require a strength check i love the idea of just waldo being like i'm going to take a couple of minutes she's just like yeah yeah i got it i got it well it's really good because <laughs> I, 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 I saw it coming <laughs> just i saw right coming by. this decision where just waldo was going to have to decide whether or not he was going to leave the room or leave claire yeah. Uh, can Good we uh, can we hear her trying to get through the door? Um, you probably hear the whoosh of you know magic, and then do? you hear. I'm gonna okay. use my inspiration. My All right. Cyber, I was gonna say. I was gonna tell Cyber to help you. So you probably wouldn't need to use your inspiration. Nah, I'm using it because I Cyber. have horrible luck. Kabloosh. The first one, because I double clicked, so it's a 19. 19, the door holds fast. You cannot pull it open. You wasted your inspiration. Claire, what are you, oh, what? <laughs> Hello? You guys, are you still breathing? Yes, shut up. Still breathing, water's rising. Help me get this goddamn door open, please. Okay, okay, what do you need? Uh, do we? I, I can Kick turn it into a, Hit it. a giant constrictor. Just Waldo, you're about halfway through picking this. You've almost got all the pins. You know Drill you a hole it. in it or something. We need to relieve all this water. Can, can, you, can, can I like can you do burn? A can I like lightsaber burn my way through this door with the sun sword? Oh. <laughs> meanwhile, uh. meanwhile, everyone roll. Who hasn't got a D6 inspiration? Roll for a D6 inspiration. Thanks to Manx Works. Thank you, Manx Works. Awesome. Definitely wasn't me with a natural one. Wait. Oh. <laughs> okay. Am currently. I gonna win it with an eight? Yeah. Is Teresa gonna take this thing with an eight? <gasps> nope. Chelsea oh, won it with and... a ten. <laughs> with a ten. Wow. <laughs> uh, we rolled much, Megs. average. <laughs> thank you. Many of us. Oh. Um, average. I'm. Let it go, Captain. I'm gonna cast um, Ray of Frost on the lock. Okay. To see if it can make it brittle. I don't know. That's all I've got, guys. Yeah, go ahead and make your uh, attack hey, roll. I, and yeah. the I'm you trying will to Qui-Gon Jinn this shit. <laughs> Just do the uh, damage roll. Uh, the the strategies aren't really aligning here as a weapon of fire <laughs> on the brittle frozen lock. Um, but Towards. nonetheless... I'm just doing damage, yeah? It's, it's, is it fire damage or is it radiant damage? I think mean, that's... It's radiant. It's radiant. You're right. Twelve is good damage. Um, you That's feel like damage. you have made considerable product or uh, progress, and the lock is or the door is close to breaking after this. Right. So so let me know when I can do it again. Jaswaldo, you break out of the cell at this point. So wait, are they just like standing in front of that door? So. Cyber's gonna go ahead and um, do a bunch of unarmed strikes against. Oh like, focus, God! <laughs> focused around the lock. Just while it holds onto one of the bars. You have about a foot of space now as the water continues to rise. Okay, so Acantha's gonna turn into a giant constrictor and swim down to where Claire is and try to bunch up and help the door. That's why I can right. that. 24 yeah, will be enough to deal some damage to the door. All right. So that will be seven. Kent, I don't, Kent, I don't really understand where you went and what you did. Yeah, we're on the other side of the wall. Let's yeah. see. So and then I'm going to go ahead and use... Uh, 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 where is it? Um, basically, I get to add... 
There it is. I'm going to use a deft strike, so that'll allow me to really focus. And so I add an extra D6 onto that 7. So uh, using that extra D6 damage, so it'll be 7 plus 5 for 12 okay. uh, bludgeoning damage. And what, uh, gotcha. What were you doing, Acantha? Sorry, I... Nope, you're good. I want to uh, try to, since she's pull, Claire's still pulling on the door and she can't open mm-hmm. it all the way, I want to try to help wedge into the door and see if I can't help push it open. I started trying to sort right. it. So, so I'm if, not if you're, pushing anymore. Though if you're helping, the DC will have decreased using your, did you turn into a giant snake? Mm-hmm. Giant constrictor. Use your... Um, uh, sorry, Alpha Flat, I might have to move you out of the way so Kantha can get in here. She's gone big now <laughs> and make a strength check. So just a check plus your strength modifier. Um, the door is weakened now. I, I will make my strength check in snake form, right? Yeah. Are there like cracks of water starting to be, begin to pour out of it like a failing dike? Uh, a bit um, those outside so you will notice the steps descend down to the dungeon level those who are um, going down aren't quite as worried um, because um, you know you can just run up five feet of stairs however Mm -hmm. where they started from is the top of your ceiling inside but that doesn't matter so much as the giant constrictor throwing its weight against the door. Having been damaged as much as it was, um, reduced the um, DC of the check significantly, and is, she is just able to break the door open, which swings out as just about as Claire is ready to make another strike. Step so I sort of get like through Where? the door. Claire. Oh. Yeah. Where's just Waldo? Mm-hmm. Back there. I grab Cyborg as I like. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and just Waldo, you are just about to lose the ability to um, uh, breathe, and now the way is open. As so you flit out, though, you see that each of these cells contains something in them. In fact, <sighs> the one far, the one immediately to the left here seems to contain a glowing short sword. Ooh. I will uh, go and check that out, I think. Uh, there's things down here. Yeah, there were coins, I think, in the one that I was in. It's probably worth us taking a poke around in here. <clears throat> but all the doors are locked still, aren't they? Not yeah, that bad. I want to go check the treasure we have looking for okay. diamonds. Uh, which one? Which tre- the I, I overheard Claire say that there was treasure. Okay. Um, My cell is locked. Still, okay. by the way. Yeah. yeah. Claire, if you're still in there, look for diamonds. We need diamonds. Okay. I'll say. I mean, I. That is what I, I am looking try, for. But, well, we. Um, so, when we opened the door, I thought I pulled Claire out of the room. No, right? I, I basically like caught on to you as I like okay. m- swept yeah. by. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we should uh, take a look around all. This door is open. This one is not. They both seem, the floor seems to be filled with coins. Ooh. I'll start looking in here, I guess. I'm not going to find anything. Ooh, uh. I, I, <laughs> I rolled a zero. They disappeared. <laughs> They, you uh, find nothing. <laughs> the DM, I'm gonna start rolling some thieves tools to open these, if I may. Okay. Alimus, uh, come find your own goddamn diamonds. I can't see 29. shit. Got water in my eyes. Easily opens again. This one is the one where you saw the sword. This is the pile. Um, probably about 300 gold pieces worth. Exactly 300, in fact. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, no. Okay. And this one is Alimus about. Should, um, rather, um, 300 platinum in here. Wow. I will put this into party gold. Mm-hmm. Um, so are you magic. all taking the time to... It will take you some trips. It is underwater now. To go in, uh, gather yeah. gold, bring it on back. I've told Maris to be careful behind her with the traps. Yeah, I, 
Yeah, Maris, you're standing right in front of what looks like another trap door. So. Well, so of the things that we saw that looked important, really, it's only the sword. What do these other cells seem to yeah. contain? Uh, very briefly, the others contain really nothing. Okay, well, I'll work on this one. I think we have something magic here, Elimus. Give it to me. Um, I'll identify it while you're searching. Be careful. Just uh, for the sake of brevity, I swim down once and grab, like, a handful of the platinum, and then I beat okay. it. Okay. Gotcha. I'll do this one as well. Right here. How much would that um, be? Well, you guys we can spend now have time. 300 platinum and 300 gold, basically. Yeah, so say, we, how long would it take? Can... DM? About 10 minutes to sort uh, of get all this? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we um, can... We'll... I will cast Identify on the sword, then, while we're doing that. Okay. Make sure I can get it with a 24. You absolutely can. It is shining. Um, it is shining bright, uh, sh bright light, and you feel uncomfortable. You feel like the sword is judging you when you hold it. Personally, at least a little bit. Okay. Well, hmm. I study it and. Okay. You know that there, this sword is. Um, there's not a item necessarily set up, but it's a short sword. It, there is some latent power within it, some personality that this weapon has. It is a plus one short sword, but it has an alignment of lawful good. And it seems to reach out to those of you um, who are good um, and it will express that it has been hidden for far too long and it longs to fight evil. I will look around. Obviously, I understand this, and I look around the group. It can also, um, any lawful good creature, if there are those of you here, can attune to it in one minute, as opposed to the normal short rest. Also, when attuned, the sword's wielder can cast Crusader's Mantle once a day. I look around the group. I look to Claire, thinking... She's got the sun sword. Just what I'll do. I ain't Defin lawful either. Definitely not. I look to Sival. Can you wield this? And it's for a lawful character or a good character? Lawful good. Place it in his hand. How does this feel? It's a nice sword. I am lawful neutral, however. Oh. Okay. Really? You're so you goddamn feel... wholesome. I know, right? I looked at that too, and I was just like, "Really?" I you feel like right? I would have thought you'd be lawful good. Yeah, it, I would. It does oh no, feel I, like that. But I would have um, thought that I was going to be lawful good too, and I was just like, lawful, "Wow, lawful why'd you make that call?" The uh, so the cyborg. Gosh, golly. Your um, well, he also just went and accepted a dark gift, but you know, um, <laughs> the. Uh, I mean, bone wings. Sword feels it. it's, it's like it's telling you like. You know, like when a parent tells you they're proud of you, but you could do better. <laughs> it kind of feels <laughs> like that, you know. So um, let me get this straight. Do you inform the rest of us that it's magic? Oh, yeah. you can tell it's magical. It yeah, it's it's thrumming. Yeah. It's glowing um, light, fifteen foot radius dim light. So I would hold on to it. It's... This may not like you. This is an intelligent sword. Even better. Is that an implication that intelligent people don't like him? No, but it's telling me. Well, I'm, it's, te it's telling me that he's looking for something pure, and that's why I thought of civil, civil. Do you see anyone pure around here? Well, civil. A cantha. Meris, a cantha. And I'll obviously, if it doesn't work with, obviously, oh, he's sort of like, he's, he's holding on to the blade. Are you actually use it, Jeswaldo? Hmm? Are you actually going to use it? Out of game, at some point I am going to go to dual wield. Okay. So this is for good characters. Um, but, he, he will, I mean, if there's no if there's no good characters, then yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's well, just it, a plus one sword. He's holding on to the blade and asking you to sort of hold and put it in it places it inside his hand. And says maybe not, and then. We'll look to Ethelflaed and see if the sword approves. Obviously, I don't know what alignment you are. Yeah. 
chaotic. You gotta say something, not just smile. It's like she's chaotic good. Chaotic good. So that's why I asked close. if it was a good character. That's or a sort of proof. <laughs> it's like, you know, so right like intentions, if, if good heart, to. but if you just tried harder, you yeah. could, you know. Yeah. He summonars and looks to Maris as well and places it in a camp of his hands first. How about you? Would you use this? I don't think you would. It's, it's pretty, but it's sharp and pokey. Do I know much about druids? Would they not use? I don't think they have weapon proficiencies. So. No. I have. I have a sling. And say so they. That's I think I can need. only use. Yeah, I don't, a druids like, can't the use the scimitar. Yeah. I think is the only thing that yeah. a druid gets off. Correct. Like, right? Club dagger. It plays. It, 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 it'll ask Maris to try. Scimitar. Look at it, Liz's face. Would you use a sword? Uh, well, I would use it in, I guess, much the same way that Athelflaed would use it. Uh. And that my alignment is also chaotic. <laughs> I say, I mentally say to the sword, you're out of luck here. Pick a, <laughs> pick your own, pick a champion. It seems to want to um, gravitate towards a good aligned character. Though it will take the full attunement process in order to yeah. be able to use it in its entirety. So, oh, so uh, just a regular good character could use the full sword for its. Yeah, but the, the attuning that. process is a shortcut. If someone were lawful good, it would just boom attune like immediately. almost immediately. Got but it. anyone can use it, but it will be probably resist you if you're not yeah. good Sounds especially fun, if you're really you not lawful should good definitely yeah. go to um to uh, i'll look to maris to and say Flad, right yeah you know, i'll look to maris and say she you've already got a magical weapon haven't you mace yeah yeah i said maybe not then i'll look to have i think i think you may be the best choice here this is what the sword is, is telling me is maris's character a plus one mace that she has uh actually i don't think it is the plus one i think it's just a regular mace i thought she had a plus one it's silver. A non -magic it's silver. Silver. yeah it's oh, silver. okay mm. so she does not have a magic weapon i have the holy symbol can you so. use we'll take sword. the short rest for you guys to decide this anyway so maybe if you would like to move forward a bit you're just all all your boots yeah, are getting wet just, now. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out well, this is while they're they're swimming in and out, getting treasure and stuff. So, yeah. so yeah. maybe we'll it's, later. maybe it's good that Maris will use it, and we've all got magical <clears throat> weapons, have we not? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone except Maris, like, and the yeah. con mm. uh, being campus. very careful to avoid the trap. Shall we check here? Yes. Yes. Seem like a bad idea. I will check the door for traps. I'm going to move around yeah. the corner, DM, and avoid the trap that's in the middle of this intersection. Okay. It's funny that the wizard's <clears> checking <throat> for traps, not the rogue. The rogue yeah, had right. other priorities. Yeah. Um, um, 14 investigation. Unless someone's, all right. help, unless someone's helping me. So you've revealed the traps in this corridor. You oh, feel. Okay. So I was you've, the, the door then. Yeah. yeah. You can step around them easily. DM fly across the hallway and uh, check to see if the door is locked. It is. It Just is almost up. completely submerged as well. So by now. Um, I see much more of this hallway, by the way. Yeah, you see into um, a large room here. There seems to be some sort of audience chamber um, here. And I will describe the room a little bit more after we, if we're going to deal with this door, we'll do that first. Uh, what are you going to try to open this one as well? It was no traps. Yes, I will open it. I think we should. Okay, it will take the um, uh, thieves tool check. It is locked, like the one I, before. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's see here. I look at the traps. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I can imagine this is the same as the opposite. Maybe more treasure. All right. Well, we'll give it a shot. Um, or more well, items like this. I will do the uh, uh, these tools on this. I may. Bloop. And the bloop. That is a 26. Oh, it opens for you. And... Nice. Plus 13. Below, there is only water that you can see for now. Uh, there are not the same riches, but you see a figure moving around in this cell, you think. Hey, you there. This is completely underwater, this room now. Think, Has been for some minutes. I don't think he can hear you under the water. There might be someone dying because we've set off the traps. So, is there room between the water and the top for this person to breathe? No, not anymore. Like, not, when not it reached the top for you, open the door. it oh. reached the top for them as well. I place my staff under the water. Can we see what mm -hmm. creature it is, or what person it is? Um, it seems to be a man of dark skin who is indeed just kind of bobbing up against the bars as the water kind of undulates in this room seems to be unmoving. Does anyone have the ability to like drag? Oh wait, but that door is going to be locked as well. Can you go unlock it? I suppose. But is there any point? I mean, looks like he's dead. He could still be alive. Just go get him. The we should check. All right. I go into the water. Okay. It's a similar cell to what you had before and it looks like eyes open, mouth open, floating here is. He's totally dead. <laughs> Does he actually oh, look dead? <laughs> D DM? Mm -hmm. Oh. I swim back. Dead. Let's move on. Was there anything else in the room? It was really Not that dark it looked in interesting. What, you don't want to check his pockets for anything? Nope. Fine. Let's move on and let's find these other two Twitter followers we're looking for. <sighs> oh, two. Yikes, we're going to get so close. Into the chamber. Just two more Twitter followers, then we can do a giveaway. And then we can do a giveaway during our short rest. So, here, there are dark, low shapes thrusting out of still brackish water that fills this 50-foot square room, the ceiling of which is festooned with hanging chains that look like thick black web strands. A balcony set into the north wall overlooks the room and has two large thrones upon it, with a velvet curtain between them. There, um, the water's about three feet deep, so the balcony itself is about 10 feet above the water. The no. shapes beneath the water, as you begin to look around, appear to be racks, iron maidens, stocks, and other instruments of torture. The last victims of each seem to still lie upon these instruments of torture. Um, Under the sense. water. You get a, you feel a sense of undead emanating from these. There is some sense of unrest in the dead who lie here. Um, I can tell what sort, I believe. Um... What sort of undead? No, no, sorry, I, I misread something. Never mind. Uh, but um, the, it's the bodies like all on the various torture things. How many are there? There are six. Savor. Yes. Fly up to that balcony and uh, take this rope. Done. Whew. So I go ahead and uh, take flight. Uh, how tall is the ceiling, DM? 
Um, it is another 13 feet up, so it's about 20 feet high. Okay, okay, so I'm flying at about 15 feet, uh, so I'm not as he, tangled up in the chains. As he heads off, I place my hand on Claire's shoulder. Yes. And I'm sort of just waiting. Just, right. Claire, so, will you hold this rope? Okay. And I will climb up the rope being held by Cyvor and Claire. Okay. Is there anything up here? There are two thrones here. There is this curtain behind as well. What? Um... Sounds like Cyber flew up. Claire, you are just anchoring this for Jezwald. Make an athletics check to try and, um, or actually just a straight strength check to try and hold it fast. Oh, we're going to make uh, feel bad Yeah, again. you asked the wrong person, dude. <laughs> who Who is the right person? Maris. No kidding? She's stronger than me. She looks Whoops. impressive, but she'll be real sad when you guys finally find plate armor because she won't be able to wear it. <laughs> Um, she is a. Uh, Wait, who are you talking about? I don't. You have a low strength core. I have just enough to wear plate armor. Oh yeah, I'm fifteen. Wearing plate armor. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I thought you had. I yeah, thought I you like, were. Wait, a, wait, what? I thought you were yeah. a hex blade strength dumper. So I was. Um, I am a hex blade strength dumper, but I you. just dumped just enough <laughs> to yes. be able to wear plate armor. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> just enough to keep my well armored figure. I'm unfortunately though with ten, um, just Waldo, Whee! you, you, uh, the, he does, she doesn't just drop you, but the, um, uh, rope begins to slip, and as you Not grab it, sort of splash into the water just below the balcony here, which is I believe, um, was the way it was described. Um, these figures under the water begin to stir, and fight against their torture equipment. Oh. <laughs> you climb up. <laughs> Yikes. And Yikes. how are you guys feeling tonight? I know it's a little bit late, but I'm happy some to things. keep going. All right. I would like I would like to hit something. All right. We want to hit some stuff. Yeah. Hit, hit some stuff. Bitch for real. So Alimus and Jezwaldo would be in different places, correct? I think I'm next uh, to one of you anyway. Yeah. Oh no, I'm underneath thingy. Um, yeah, I had my hand on her shoulder ready to cast a spell as there soon we as go. any um, Jezwaldo, the thing that triggered the combat was you splashing into the water just right, below right, right. the rope. Oh, no! So um, oh, no! you might get a chance oh. to run up out of the way, but um, right. for now, I'll put myself right, and right, I will... right here. Well, there's good? a pretty good That's goddamn perfect. chance that I'm going after you, Alimus, since I rolled a natural one. Oh, on really? My initiative um, check. Meanwhile, while we're all rolling an initiative, if those that haven't got a D6 inspiration, do, 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 do. wish to roll it, yeah. roll for one. Um, there we go. There's my initiative. Oh um, my God, thank you very lie. much to MCR Music Ooh. 3. Thank you very, very, very much for your bits. Thank, thank you very much. Gets inspiration. MCR Music uh, well, that's a D6 is just in to... time for combat. Ooh, okay, so far so good. And it looks like Ryan's got it. Is anyone else? Yeah, not I can't got a D6. I rolled a three. Oh, so... still got it. Okay. Yeah, just roll a roll. I rolled a nine. <laughs> nine, 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 nine. Oh, I rolled a five, not a three. All right. Does, does Looks like it is Ryan that wins it. Thank you very much. Um, ah, MCR ah. Music. Now, this D6 inspiration must be used during this evening. Must session. be used right. during tonight's session, yes. Lovely. Cool. Um, um, are we all on the uh, tracker here? Yes. Um, do I get my spell off before initiative as I was holding it? Um, for danger. No, uh, okay. unfortunately, initiative determines how fast you can act. Yeah, that's fine. So, you know, there's the, I know it's, the explanation is, the easy no, explanation is everyone could just move and then hold an action to attack, yeah. you know, <laughs> every yeah, thing. So, um, all good. Cool. Jezwaldo, it's not all surprising. Right. You are the uh, first to act. So, 
So this thing is, uh, is it look kind of corpsey and juicy or wraithy and diaphanous? A little wraithy, but juicy. So not diaphanous, but okay. it looks desiccated. All right, I will s- hold on, Cyborg, and I will swing on the rope, <laughs> doing the thing, and I right. will stab at it with the rapier, and then <laughs> climb up past it. All right. Uh, let's see here. Actions, combat, attack with the magic rapier. I feel like wraithy and juicy should be the thing that I should get like on like my sweatpants. <laughs> have that be on the next look at the 5d 20 hitting with a 25 it's excellent doing 28 points of damage oh ouch and then i will climb up all right you fly up elimus it's your turn uh, okay well uh, change, ah! a, change a plan then uh, da, 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 da. Where are you? Cleared the area for you there, Limus. You see? Yes. Where are you? Where is it? It's under F. Oh, Ooh. hello. How about that? <clears throat> he would point to the middle of the room then and speak the words uh, Galatal and Inferno Liberabis. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've seen that before. <laughs> yeah. I must climb faster. The, the, uh, the rope just. Yeah. And All right, Dex ca- saves. He casts these. that. I can't believe you were uh, for a ninth level. A fourth level. We need one more follower for our giveaway. One, one more follower for the giveaway. If you're not on oh the, our Twitter God. yet, please go and follow it and we'll do a giveaway. So uh, my uh, saves are as follows. I have 16, 18, 12, 13, 20, and 10. So I've got two saves and the rest of 16, a last level would have saved, but you failed that one. So only one save. Uh, mm. Oh, I thought 17 was your save. Yeah, it, it was, was last level. I've got 16. an 18 and a 20. Oh, so. okay, two, two past that. Yeah. 37 fire right. damage. Ooh, that's a good fireball. 37, fourth and level. Save, which half of which is going to be 18. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 18, yeah. Cool. Uh, mine is... Anything else for you? Yep. Yeah, he will mine the trap and <laughs> 5, 10, 15. Mind the trap. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> mind 10, 15, the trap. 25, 30 into <laughs> a canthus. <laughs> Square and she's small. Okay, you can move past the traps, but it will be as uh, difficult terrain. Oh, okay. Uh, we have also just hit three hundred. We just hit three hundred. Awesome. Everyone. Okay. Well, I've had my go. Well, I've I've had my go. So while everyone else is doing theirs, I will get it set up. All right. Cool. Apple Plod. 300 followers on the Twitter. Okay. <laughs> so only one of those dudes died? Correct. One was scorched and died by the oh, fire. Yeah, it was, it was the one who took uh, uh, Jaswaldo's attack, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So I would like to cast Tale of Thorns on this buddy. Thorns. And then I will shoot him twice with my longbow. All right, so the first one's a deck save, yeah? For a hail of thorns? Yeah. I see deck save of 15, and I fail it. So the ones around him take that extra damage. And this first one and the one you're attacking, uh, both attacks are going to hit. Yay! I always I forget how I always forget how Hail of Thorns works. I know I love that throat singing. (laughs) (laughs) So that's twenty. 
just for the bows for that guy. That guy. Ooh, that guy. Okay, so the one saves, so he only takes three damage, but the uh, target itself fails, taking the full seven plus another 20. So we'll, it'll take 27 damage. He is just barely uh, hanging on. Okay. Is that what I'm seeing? You rolled 10 yeah, damage I twice. Thought, I, I thought I cast it second level, but I only cast it first, so that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, but one is severely damaged. The other is not looking so good either. Are there anything else from you? Um, can I move closer into the room? You can. Uh, just know that this square right in front of you is difficult terrain to step yeah. around the trap. So just like right there. Yep. That would be 15 feet of movement to right there. Uh, okay. <clears throat> All right. Akantha. All right. Let's see. Who is next to me? I see Maris and is that Kazimir? Yep. Let's see, I'm going to move and I'm going to use my thorn whip on this dude right here in front of me. Okay. Uh, I She's not still a snake? No, I had turned back. No. Oh. She would have been giganto. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Would not have had room. Boop. Ah, snap. Does that hit? Uh, 10, unfortunately, will not. Okay, and as a Drew, I don't get two attacks, do I? So, uh, I guess that is it for my turn then. And she tries to hit with her thorn whip and misses. And it just kind of dodges out of the way and it. Uh, ends up just grabbing some of the chains surrounding it. Maris, you're up. Okay. Um, so Maris would like to move into the room. I would avoid traps, right? I kind of, can I? Yep, it's just difficult like... terrain, so just that one square is difficult, yeah. uh, an extra square of movement. Okay. So I just need to get here, really. Um, so... Maris will go here, and then she'll cast uh, Radiance of the Dawn. Oh, boy. Here. So each meanie has to make a con saving throw of 16. Okay. I've got five left. One, two, three, four, five. They conveniently ordered themselves in uh, increasing level number which is interesting i've got a 5 a 13 a 15 a 19 and a 21. okay so for and they it goes in this order basically so yeah so they would take the ones who failed will take 12. okay and the ones who succeeded will take six all righty what's your dc uh doop a doop let's see eh, it is sorry uh where is that on my sheet uh it's your spell save dc under your spells it should be up at the top of your spell list yeah uh it is 16. okay Okay, so you got three fails. Nice. Um, got this one just barely hanging out. This one will fail, and he was super almost dead from Alpha Flood, and he will die. And because this one, 15's pretty good roll for a save, but because of the also collateral damage, he will die. Cool. Sorry, this is just a quick thing. I need to click a pick winner. I'm not seeing any people that are entering, so I'm just going to click pick winner as a test it's not the actual winner if something does come up then i will reset it so i can't seem to okay. get it working at the moment so bear with me um and just uh -huh. start for the giveaway you can no longer enter let me see if it actually worked uh, 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 no it's not working so carry yeah, on yeah. what does the does the uh, madge do yeah, what's the All right, we're just carrying on? Yep. 
Mr. Casimir is going to save some spell slots, do a fire bolt, and we'll crit. Wow. All right. Dealing. <laughs> wow. All right. Mr. Casimir attacks this one, does 24 points of damage with a fire bolt, which wow. is an which, uh, yeah, is an enormous firebolt. It's a baby fireball. Yeah. Yes. Cyborg, you're up. Two of All them right. are left. Uh, yeah. So, uh, DM, is it possible for me to use my maneuver, or is that not an option for this game? Uh, let's wait till next time. Uh, just so I can take a look at it, if that's all right. So fruitly, yeah, of course it is. Oh, it you is you game. asked me. Sorry. <laughs> no, uh, you. No, uh, please. I didn't run see it the in entire. The chat. Uh, yeah, run the entire battle, and then also talk with me as well. I just feel like we're not communicating anymore. All right. So, uh, Cyborg is uh, <clears throat> plan number two. Just... Oh, it looks like it's working, Jade. I don't know if you. Yeah, it's working oh, now. Yeah, sorry. I thought. Yeah, I must so have do been we just? Muted. Do we just chat exclamation point giveaway? Is if that what we do? people want to enter the giveaway for um, the awesome prize that Ryan here has made, it is a key fob with Woohoo! awful stupid RPG and then ah. the dice tell a story on the back of that one. Um, Hell yeah. If you would like to join that exclamation mark giveaway. So yeah. Yay. And we will pick it at the end of the show, guys. So you've got yeah, to the yeah. end of the show. It's all good. All right. Soivor. So Soivor is uh, currently whip, well, hopefully whipping the crap out of this uh, rate well. Okay. Oh, God. Not Imagine so an 11 or a 12 wow. won't do nothing. Unfortunately not, no. Okay. All right. So uh, I will then, oh, God, what do I want to do? Uh, yeah, I really want to hit something. That's just sort of where I'm at right now. It's not very monkey of me, but there I am. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and uh, lash out with his foot and do an unarmed strike for his bonus action. And that will fail utterly. Just an absolute, it's just me going like. <laughs> so, yeah, my my attempts to hit something have been a total disgrace. All right. So that's me. All right. All right. It comes up to them. This one will retaliate. As um, well it should. First thing it will do is reach out to try and attack you. Um, I will crit right back. I need you to make a con save. Ooh, another natural 20. All right. So you take 15 points of necrotic damage. Your um, hit point maximum is reduced by that much. And then it will follow up and hit you with a long sword. I have a 22 to hit and it will deal then a follow up of 10 slashing damage. Uh, and sorry, you guys are in water, but it's about three feet deep. If you, you, when you descend into this room, any of you who are walking will be in difficult terrain just to wade through it. All right, the one here, let's see. Who am I mad at? Um, I didn't like your light, Maris. So I'm gonna try and life drain you for a six, which I believe is a super duper miss. And let's try a long sword at 21. For um, uh, eight points of slashing damage. Yep. Well, not super impressive on their part. Claire, you're up. I will take a couple swings at this one in front of me with my sun sword. You light the sun sword, and now the bright light fills this area. By the I way, whoever is. has the short sword that you just found, it doesn't stop emitting light. There's always this 15 foot dim light sort of emanating from it. 20 damage. Oof. All right. It buckles a bit from the blow, but is not felled. I'll attack again. I'm going to roll my d6 inspiration. 
Good. That I've been sitting on the entire game? Good. In theory, it's being rolled, and just roll 20 is taking its sweet goddamn time. We yeah. peek on. Do, 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 this Waldo do, do, do. is up next, just so you are. Oh, 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 there. Oh, Aware. 13. Does that hit? 13, <laughs> unfortunately, does not. That's all right. I tried. Eli uh, oh, no, I skipped right past it. Just Waldo, you're up. Yep. <sighs> I prematurely advanced it. Just Waldo pulls out a uh, throwing dagger and throws it from here. There. Aha! Wait, that's your line. <laughs> Not anymore, apparently, Dive since bars. he stopped being Ponzi. 23. 23 for hits. 20 points of non magical damage. Sticks in the back. It is not super effective, but is nonetheless enough. And, oh. Somebody grab that for me. And I'm going to sort of look over here and interact with object, slowly peek behind the curtain. All right. You see a um, uh, door. Very well, I am done. All right. Elimus. Um, so where we are currently is not, where I am currently is not uh, difficult terrain, no? Correct. Once you enter this room, it will Five, be. 5, 10, 15, 20, avoiding the trap. And I will shoot a, a ray of frost at the creature for a 20 to hit. That will hit. For 10 cold damage. Cold damage is effective. Mm -mm. And though they were not many, um, nonetheless, this last one will fall. <laughs> and in the um, silence, you hear a voice echo out through this and says, I always tried to make them last much longer than that. Trust me, they deserved it. But, bravo. Is he visible? For a moment he is, before he ducks behind the curtain here. Jeswaldo, you did not see him. But he some he materialized in front of the curtain, and then ducks behind it. Oh, uh, I believe that this curtain is taken. And he, you see him, <laughs> look at you and walk through this wall. Oh, that's going to be a problem. I, uh, and that is where the water. Oh, we will end this session. <laughs>